gamers! Fellas, welcome! How are we doing today? Welcome, welcome. Who in the chat is a gamer? Press 1 if you are. Gamers! Gamers unite! Yakuza fans unite! Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Hey fellas, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? You might have already noticed from my voice, but uh, I think I'm coming down with some sickness and I don't know if it's a normal cold or if I somehow caught COVID again. Uh, but I thought, you know, I almost... I was thinking of not streaming today because of uh, whatever sickness I'm coming down with, but I figured I should because if it's gonna get worse, uh, or let me reword that, I would stream today before it gets worse, so that you know if it does get worse, I can rest up and you guys have have this stream to watch if you want uh, Yakuza content or if you want something Yakuza related in the background while you do something like. Grinding seals in Asian or something, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Cena, thank you for the seven months, and also thank you, Black, for the honey at here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, fellas. Thank you. Yeah, what no upgrade playthroughs do to a man, am I right? Yo, Frosty, welcome. How do you catch COVID? I don't know. I, I barely leave the house, so <laughs> I don't know. The first, no, uh, to be fair, to be fair. I think my circumstances are a bit special because I live in a basically a family building, so what happened was I think a lot of family mem members caught COVID and then, you know, my brothers or my dad probably saw them one day uh, while on their way out or they visited them in their um, apartments. So, you know, when they come back, some not so nice stuff happened because of the, uh, uh, what's the word? The, the, uh, when a disease gets out from your mouth and, you know. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Wolfie. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with that grind, by the way. Thank you. Cough, cough. Yes, cough. Get well uh, soon, Leon. Guys. Also, can't wait for Haruka. No upgrades. Also, been grinding Majimu everywhere. Uh, hello, Yusuf. Good, what about you? Recovering from allergies? What allergies do you have? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Okay, so... I feel like, for this challenge, a lot of people were looking forward to Yakuza 3 the most, because, you know, it's Yakuza 3. But... Is there anyone who's been looking forward to 5 the most? Oh, Dustin Poland. Okay, well, I hope you get better soon. Yakuza 5, here we go. Here we go! <clears throat> People underestimate how hard 5 can be without upgrades, yeah. I think, was it you who earlier who said something about Aizawa taking as long? You know, I think he's not gonna be as difficult, mainly because Mine basically has infinite heals. Aizawa only uses them in, like, a specific part of, the, of like, the fight. And he only does it twice, I think, or three times in the courtyard. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Kamaki training? Yes. We're... So, all of these games so far that we played, we didn't get any training moves, any upgrades, nothing. We use weapons. Uh, and that's about it. But uh, usually it's environmental weapons. 
<clears throat> no bloody moon. Uh, you know, I would install the restoration, the music restoration patches, but that's bad news for me as a streamer or like a content creator because if I want to keep them on the stream, I, I can't. It's uh, copyright material, so as soon as they hear that, they'll be like, oh, Devil Leon 7, what is this we hear? Sounds like somebody could use a copyright strike. And, uh, it sucks. You gonna use Shinada in that fight where you can pick him with Saijima? Oh, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Uh... I don't know. Shreem. After this, I might do six. We could also do a release order, I guess, but I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, so. Uh, welcome, fellas. If you weren't here at the beginning or the starting soon, screen or whatever, welcome to Yakuza 5 No Upgrade Run. So, we've been doing a bunch of these lately. We go through the entire game without getting any upgrades if we can help it. And I say if we can help it because... In Yakuza 3, there's one part where you're, like, you have to get a revelation, you can't do anything about it. Um, so yeah, but it was a revelation that we never even used. It's very situational, doesn't really matter. Yakuza 4 and 5, you level up automatically, you can't help it. So basically what you'll get out of that is health bar increases, but that's all you get. H health bar and heat bar increases, but you still lack, you know, all of the moves. All the good moves that are locked behind upgrades. Uh, thank you, thank you, Zirayel. Zir what? I can't read. Z Zirayel. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, no upgrades. Um, now, which difficulty should we go with? That's the million dollar question with these games. Uh, okay, guys, I don't know if I'm feeling legend for Yakuza 5. I might go with hard. Because, okay, wait, let's, let's think about it for a bit, okay? What... I want you all to think with me about annoying parts. Where, uh, you know, th think like Lao Kalong's chapter in Kiwami 1. Is there anything like that in this game? I'm trying to think. Uh, there's... You've done the previous ones in Legend? Uh, not all of them. I did Yakuza 2 and 4 in Legend. Shinada multi-man fights. Oh, man. Wait. Oh, dude. If we die in that Shinada long battle in the pier, we're fucked. And also, don't forget the, 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 the forklift. That is gonna suck so much. Ogita and Kanai might be rough, yeah. Um... I don't know, guys. <laughs> make a poll. The thing is, I know what's going to win if I make a poll. It's so easy for chat to just go, Legend, Legend, Leon, <laughs> Legend. And that's what's going to happen. Are you going to try to use heals or no? Nah? Yeah, I mean... With uh, 3 and 4, I wasn't too strict about that. The Toja clan fight, yeah. The prison escape, oh no. <laughs> Okay, okay, look. I think hard is still a fairly good challenge without upgrades, so... Why do they have auto-assignment? Alright, I guess I'll let the game pick abilities for me that I won't know what they are. Look at all this. Oh, god damn, that's a lot of stuff. Did anyone play with auto-assignment? Okay, here we go, chapter... I mean, Yakuza 5. Technically, chapter 5 is also kind of true. Kind of. Chapter 5 in the Yakuza saga. My first time I did. Hell no. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Thankfully, this cutscene skips real fast. But then we'll get to the ones that are like... Uh... uh, uh. 
And we can't do anything about those. Part 1, Kazuma Kiryu. The legend. <clears throat> Yo, peaceful. Congrats. Congrats, you did it. What is auto assignment? I have no idea. So basically, whenever you level up, the game automatically buys abilities for you. And I don't know if it's always the same or if they always change. Uh, this is the remaster. We're playing four, five, uh, three, four, five with the remasters. I challenge you to platinum Yakuza five. Oh yeah, what's in it for me? That's the question. If I do that, what are you gonna give me? Because <laughs> I don't want to do that for free. Okay, so uh, I think we need. Uh, we start with thirty thousand. Sweet. So, there will be some DLC packs at the convenience stores. I'm thinking of saving most of them for characters that really need it, like Shinada and uh, Akiyama. <laughs> 150 gifted subs. Yeah, I'm playing on PC. If you plug a controller, uh, you get uh, the PlayStation inputs. So I think on Steam you have to go into big picture mode and you enable PlayStation inputs from there. Okay, so I think... It doesn't really matter what we get the guy. I think if we get him a normal bento, that's enough. Uh, no, now that I'm thinking about it... But let's get him the fancy sushi set. Because I think that's the best option for him. 800 rupees. Take it or leave it, Leon. Mm, tempting. Where is the... Oh, uh, hello? Am I? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was weird. Did I add something? Who here loves Yakuza 3? Me! I love Yakuza 3. Okay, so... Yeah, we can take a bit of a shortcut. I love Yakuza 3. I love Yakuza 3. Thank you, Botch, I did. Hope you had a good weekend, too. I've been playing Resident Evil 4 Remake a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I haven't played Mercenaries again after that stream. I just... I don't know, the main story is addicting. I keep playing it again and again. Who here loves Fortnite? Me! Anyone else? Fortnite. Genuinely, I do like Fortnite. I think Fortnite is really fun. Like, unironically, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I think uh, the Yakuza 3 run is getting to me. I haven't played Fortnite. I mean, it's alright. Who here loves Binary Domain? I never played it. <laughs> but I keep... Like, people keep telling me to play it. <laughs> Fortnite stream of Kiryu gets added? Oh, you know it. In fact, this might become a Fortnite channel if that happens. How about that? Some people tell me we, we ran out of content, so I think with Fortnite, that can be really fixed. How about that, people? Kiryu Fortnite dancing stream. And then... Kiryu goes through a zombie apocalypse. 
custom game stream. And then, Kiryu goes into battle royale mode against 100 people stream. And then, Kiryu goes into prop hunt custom game. And then, it never ends, see? Perfect content. Do I have to send 10,000? Any fight you're worried about? <clears throat> I think just Shinoda's part. Maybe the... Uh, what's it called? The Tojo fight for Kiryu. <laughs> Suspicious man. Sweet punks. Who likes extermination? From what I've seen, at least in my chat, seems like extermination isn't really that low. At some point, this was the best generic boss team for me. <coughs> and uh, Rebellions was a close second, but I think at this point of time, I like Rebellions more than extermination. Yo, welcome. This is on the heart. Yeah, because if I was such a blur for me, you barely remember anything. I can't blame you. The game is like getting a bad hangover when you're done with it. Who loves the story of Yakuza 5? Me! Especially that part where uh, that guy uh, does the thing and then dies. Thank you, even. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of scared about Shinada's part, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Nice, Rafai. <laughs> Who loves Devil Leon 7? Me? No, I'm just kidding. I think that guy makes shitty content. Have you seen this? Unskippable scene. My favorite thing about the episode. Shimano is a voice actor, by the way. For those who don't already know. Yeah, that's true. Yo, thank you for the... How many months was it? For the three months, Goda, thank you. <laughs> this game have any cutscenes that are Tamiya info dump level? Can't remember. Maybe not in cutscenes like that one, but in game dialogue? Let's see. Does anyone remember? Because I forgot as well. Maybe it's just my brain trying to suppress Yakuza 5 story dumps so much. I don't remember. Oh yeah, Saijima in the prison, I guess. Like, the whole prison part, almost, like, 80% of it maybe, is just you reading. And then the rest of the 20% is like the chase that happens and then the, the prison break, I guess. Maybe not even... No, I think the talking is more than 80% of the prison segment. Akiyama. Oh yeah, the new Serena discussion. Oh yeah, that that took a while. True, true, true. I forgot about that. <laughs> Majima Park and Katsuya. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, welcome. So, so, so. Info dump five. Which info dump is you guys' favorite? So, uh, what? <sighs> How is it that Tamiya's info dump ascended into being like so, a meme-worthy status, and then every 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 other dump is like? No. What is this shit? Huh? Yeah, what Yakuza 5 in info dump are you? I'm the Akiyama one at New Serena. Oh, do they? Gambling for 20 hours with a chicken race I've done 100% in after 170 plus hours. Nice. You. How many hours total do you have in this game? On Steam, 94 hours, but in total, probably hundreds. Combining, you know, my original PS3 time and then the PS4. Remaster time as well. Dashing young lad. That's you over there in the chat. Best game vibes. Hell yeah, let's go, dude. Yeah, all of you guys. Man, I love Yakuza 5. We start off with 10 minutes of skipping. <laughs> Help! Please! Help! Um, oh, thank you, Isaac. Are you a completionist? No. <laughs> At least with Yakuza, I am not. More skipping? Oh. Yeah. Would you guys say this game is the lowest point in Kiryu's life? <coughs> no. Um. If you just think about the older games, 0, 1, 2, he definitely had way lower points in that game. And then, yeah, you also have 6. Here we go, here we go, boss fight, finally, boss fight! We don't have the ground heat action, <laughs> sad. But at least, hey, I think Yakuza 5 did the improvement here, where, um... Enemies don't have to be standing still for you to use a heat action on them. Thank God about time. God, I hated, I hated that so much about 3 and 4. Uh oh. So, for this boss fight, if you kill one guy, and the other has full HP, that's all you need to do. Like, the criteria for, uh... Oh, I have that heat action? Okay. The ground getting that heat action. So, if you just kill one guy here, even if the other has full HP, you'll trigger the quick time event. Level up. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Unlike Yakuza 4, heat bars don't automatically accumulate when you level up you actually have to unlock them in this game uh you just get like extra health and that's it actual gameplay in my info dump simulator how could they yeah See? <laughs> shout out to mayumi for literally doing nothing in this game <laughs> But still being on the cover. Well, you know how it is. Like, 
If you're an actor, you're on the cover art. Back to the apartment. Who's more boring, Mayumi or Yumi? Mayumi Yumi. Mayumi Yumi! Damn. I think you're onto something there. Alright. Now, fellas, I can't help this. This is something I have to learn. Don't go easy on me, okay? Okay. This is the grandson of Kumaki. Yeah, Sosuke's theme is awesome. Love it. By the way, um, the volume mix is okay, right? Or is it a bit loud? Is it, like, is the game loud or is it good? I mistakenly call him Kosuke instead of Sosuke. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> Fine for me. Okay, okay. This is the Tanimura scene, but on a budget. <laughs> and not as long. We just see him walk to his apartment. Good attempt, but not enough carrier. That's like a 5 out of 10. God, why is coffee so good? I have a lot of saves. Okay, I'm gonna make 37 and I'll keep using that. Will you play Gaiden in English when it comes out? I'll play it, but in Japanese. Tanimura Walking has more development than Yumi. Oh, thank you for the Honeyateer Dreamcast. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your shiny stamina and X badge and all the cool emotes. Thank you, thank you. In celebration of your newly acquired membership, can you give us a floppa emote? Thank you. Alaikum as salam. Sweet fight. Uh oh. Oh god, I forgot I had... Did... No, 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 no. Why are they faster than you? Why? Like... That's it. I'm getting me bike. What if the hardest part of this game is going to be the street encounters, not the bosses? Oh, god damn it. I think if I just kill this red guy... They'll be scared. If you kill the leader in this game, they always get scattered. And that's a free kill. 
And uh, very good. Terada. Terada. Who in the chat knows who says it that way? In Yakuza 1. Terada. Terada. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, the city of snow. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Who here loves Yakuza? Not me. Bingo, Shimano. RGG, Terada. Oh wait, you're talking about the, what's it called? The acrylic figures? Terada sold out, really? Damn. Alright, chat, admit it. I know we got some of you here. Which one of you bought that Terada figure and have them sell out? Yo, thank you for the dragon tear, Rezzy. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Did you see the new RGG O Majima card? It's strong. Wait, what? I didn't. Are you sure it's new? Uh Right now, there's a, an event dropped today for uh, Eri. They brought Eri in Yakuza Online. And I think tomorrow, Saiko's gonna drop as well. Look at their animation. <laughs> Does anyone know what's this new emote feature? Wait, there's a new emote feature? Hold on, what am I missing out on? Oh, is it when you see, like, emotes popping out of the chat? Yeah, I saw that too, I'm not sure what that is about. Huh. Oh yeah, I'm seeing hearts pop out now. I have no idea what, what's that, or like, how it happens. And thank you, Rezzy, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I, uh, Worth what? it for the flopper. You're very sweet. Uh, fatal bullet. Are we even gonna use equipment? I guess not. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hey. Ah. Da -da 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 -da. I'll show you the Asian Casa. I'm gonna use the same as the OS dot. We'll do it in the ممكن ايه تقدر تقول بس في نفس الوقت في وايد عوامل في الالعاب تقدر تشوفها وتقول او كانوا كسلانين هنا وسووا بس حطوا لك هاي الكلام وممكن صح واصلا بس يعني ما ادري ايش اقول لك احنا بالنسبه لنا برا اليابان اي شيء اول مره نحصلها يعني بشكل عام بالانجليزي فبالنسبه لنا كان هاي جديده بس طبعا لو بتقارن القديمة والألعاب الثانية وثاني شيء هي لعبة كيوامي لعبة كيوامي دائما ميزانية مالتها أقل وعلى قول على قولتك يتكاسلون فيها شوية uh, someone was asking me about Ishin and if I think they were lazy with it and I was like yeah well Ishin is the kind of game Ishin is a game that we got for the first time technically outside of Japan and what Kiwami titles in general they do have a lower budget, and they reuse stuff more than other games, so... <clears throat> I wonder, like, if you want to speed through this part and you can just drive without caring about anything, is it possible? Getting the hang of it. Can you hit people with cars? You can, yeah. 
You want to see what happens? Can I eat your oh, No. What the? Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> okay. It's like it's just like my favorite game, GTA. Ellis? <laughs> we don't really care about points, so we just wanna like get to the Destination. Watch, 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 watch. Whoops. Wait. The stop sign. Come to a full stop. And then. Oh, sh that actually worked. I thought that, like, <laughs> I thought I was gonna run over them, but I guess not. See, job well done. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hush. Okay, jump scare alert. There's a like a really loud sound in this uh, segment. Um, will you upload guide in battle vi videos? You stopped uploading battle video videos or lost judgment? Uh, wait, are you saying I didn't upload videos for lost judgment? I did that. It's just with. Ishin, I actually have at least half of the videos ready. I just don't know if I should upload them because nowadays taking into account the YouTube algorithm is very important. If you upload like 10 videos in one day, it might not be good for your channel. <laughs> or if you upload a lot of videos that don't do well. Wait, no. House. Oh, there we go. They almost interrupted my drift. What did you think of the Asian remake? Um, it's not a remake. That's the first thing I'll say about it. And I, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank for some reason. <laughs> Like, I Ishin is... Even, the, even like, the original. Uh, the story is pretty good, but... After having played it, you know... In a translated way... Um, I don't know if I should say, or I can say it's among my favorite stories. But, you know, it's alright. It has some... Pretty cool things. Soundtrack is great. Uh, the combat is fun. Though, the combat in the Kiwami version specifically, I think, maybe is... It has more issues than the original. Like the hyper armor and stuff like that. But, um, a lot of the issues that are in the Kiwami version were also there in the original. I think. Uh, stuff like... 
Well, I was gonna mention the heat action damage, but that's one thing that they actually fix in the Kiwami release. Um, in original Ishin, if you deal one heat action, any given heat action, it's gonna deal okay damage. Any heat action after that, even if it's not a repeat, is gonna deal one pixel of damage. Literally one pixel. Just... That's it. Um... So that's one of the few things they improved with the combat of the Kiwami version. But other than that, I don't know. Um, I don't know, King. How do you skip dialogue so fast? You hold R1 and X if you're using a PlayStation controller. Oh yeah, there's that person that's been asking what's the game called for like an hour now. Congratulations, buddy. He got a timeout. Not everyone wins these these days. You're lucky. Uh... Does it work with... Um, it should, I think, yeah, Valenus. I think, what was it, RB and A? Ah. Look, it's the chef. I think the chef training was one of the... Like, it was a cool thing about this game that I really liked. Just the idea of adding, like, a second health bar was so cool. cool. Made you feel like a boss. Uh, especially since the colors are the same. You have orange and then you get yellow added. <laughs> yeah, the Japanese port of GTA 5. Thank you. I feel like 5 might be much easier without any upgrades. Oh, really? <coughs> Leon, Kiwami one with only dragon style, please. How about you do that? Do you think Aizawa will be in Gaiden or 8? Maybe. You never know. <clears throat> six is happening. Yeah, we will do six. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, do I? Oh, that was the. Uh... So wait, I have the. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. I like this. Morinaga, my beloved. Oh, chat. The things they could have done with Morinaga, but they haven't. Am I right? Uh oh. Thank you, Relin. Thank you, thank you. An actual heat action, yeah, for once we started one. Do you think the forest of Sai slash Purgatory will ever return? Maybe. I feel like Gaiden might be the kind of game that will, like, have a lot of old characters return, so maybe. Maybe. I think you have to unlock that one, Unreal. Do you have the dropkick in this game? I don't think so. I can try. In 6, though, we don't have the drop kick by default, so uh, that's gonna suck. 
like in six in particular, if you're in doubt, you just use the drop kick, and that's all you need. Come on, Leon, when do you think Gaiden is gonna come out? I think it'll come out in August or September. Do you think the same too? Do you think it'll come out at the end of this year? Answer me! How the fuck should I know, dude? Chat, when is Gaiden gonna come out? When? Answer me, chat! I need to know. Look, it's a staring contest. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, it got delayed to April 1st, 2024. Oh boy. Why can't we have nice things? <laughs> Answer me, chat! Answer me! Why do you like Yakuza 5? <laughs> yeah, the fact that we're not gonna get anything on Gaiden for probably at least a couple months really makes you wonder where, where they'll go with that game. Okay, we're gonna use the taxi again. They're turning Gaiden into another gacha game. Fuck yeah, let's go, dude! Alright, Wales, where are you at in the chat? Who's gonna be spending on Gaiden? I'm calling dibs on... on... Uh, on Gary. I'm gonna be spending my life savings for him. Uh, I don't think so, Alex. <laughs> Golden Ichiban, yeah. Hell yeah. I should rest. Let's rest. No, oh, I hate that so much. The save menu just comes up abruptly and then while you're skipping it saves. Hey Leon, can you do like this? Babacha. Oh, perfect, Rafai. <laughs> I actually don't know which scenes exactly that he says that. I want to keep at least one scene that he does say it, but... <clears throat> does anyone know the game by heart? Yo, Salamandero, thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day, too. He says this before his fight. I know for a fact that he says it in the like when you're fighting alongside Shinada, and he can't skip that anyway. So, uh oh.
Which one causes the game to be slower? Random encounters or info dumps? Now that's a question for the ages. Da -da 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 -da. How many hours do you have on Yakuza 5? Hundreds. Hundreds. I don't think I had a thousand, but no doubt hundreds. Okay, gonna skip that fight. I heard Yuta's voice in the Yakuza 8 trailer. What's your opinion on Yuta coming back? Well, I never heard that yet, so it could be just something you misheard. We'll see. Like, I, I don't usually like to sit down and, like, watch a one-minute trailer for, like, ten minutes and watch every pixel and all that. And then also try to theorize. So. <clears throat> I'll just wait and see what happens. Quick, we need a Yakuza channel that does that one thing. Where you, uh, make a thumbnail with a red arrow and the red circle. And you say, like, something like, Yo, Shinada's coming back? Shinada back in Yakuza 9? Question <laughs> mark? Someone has to do it. Mine isn't dead? Three exclamation marks, three question marks. No, Yakuza makes uh, meme and joke videos. I'm talking about actual, like, quote unquote, leak videos. <clears throat> with, with the other games. <laughs> Yo, confused? with Kiryu and Yakuza Gaiden and then they just show him in a temple and talk about how he's a, a monk now when everyone already knew that Stuff like leaks in general, just... I feel like it's... Oh, shit. No, 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 no. It's so easy to, like, fall into that rabbit hole and believe stuff, or, like, hold on to that hope, but... I've seen it happen a lot with other games. Like, these crazy leaks come out, and boom. How, how much of them is true? Probably nothing. And then you get articles made about said leaks as well. Talking about Yakuza 8 pocket? Yeah, Joe. That's pretty much me as well. I fell into a rabbit hole of... Um, I think it was for Resident Evil 2 Remake. Or, no. There, like, there were leaks going around about Resident Evil 3 Remake. About how there's gonna be, like, a Nemesis edition that actually expands the game. added Adds the removed areas. And... Missing enemies and stuff like that. But, uh, well, we all know the truth. No such thing happened. Uh, hmm. 
I mean, if a favorite character doesn't show up, it's whatever. If they have no reason to be there, especially. I don't know, Manis. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's why I picked hard and not uh, legend. Yo, guys, guys. I got a hot tip coming in from an anonymous source. An anonymous but reliable source. Shinada is gonna be part of Curious uh, Party in Yakuza 8. He's gonna come back with Milky, with. Uh, what's his name? Kats. No, not Katsuragi. God damn it, that fucking loser. No. Uh, Takasugi. Yeah, Takasugi. Morinaga's also coming back. He actually didn't die in Yakuza 5. Um, they listened to feedback from fans about how he was wasted too quickly. They did nothing with him, so he's coming back. They're actually going to fix that. Uh, it's going to be crazy, guys, I'm telling you. I just have to make a video about it. <laughs> oh shit, no! Uh, I could have skipped that. Stranger. No way. Get out of here. I'm calling the cops. Get out of here. Oh, Jimmy. You can still stun lock, kinda. Though I don't think that's gonna work on bosses. <sighs> this game is so long. That it is. Oh, Kuroda's birthday is a week away? Nice. Wada. <laughs> yeah. It's him! Oh yeah, Mac is also ah. coming back in Gaiden. Rejoice, fans. Rejoice. We have finally did it. Oh yeah, Mac is also gonna meet Gary. And they're gonna be best friends. And then they're like, yo, can we join your party and kick ass? And Gary's like, sure, let's do it. Will the Haruka part really be difficult with no upgrades? No, I was joking in my tweet. Because yeah, that's probably gonna be the one part that doesn't really matter. Like, you can lose the Princess League competitions even, and nothing's gonna change. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice seeing Mac again. Oh boy, it's this creep. It's the guy who was asking repeatedly about the name of this game. I think that's actually making it take longer. Let me just stay back. <laughs> GTA Tokyo, boom. <sighs> the Goshi returns to yeah. RGG Studio to make that Souls 2. Don't make me dream like that. Would be faster to go here. 
excuse me, Mr. Streamer. Streamer! What is this game? Do you like it? No. I really don't. He is looking at us. He's just standing there. Watching us. Which version do you- th which Kiryu do you think is stronger, this one or Kiwami? We talking... Um... Probably this one. Like both lore-wise and gameplay-wise. Kiwami Kiryu is really good though, gameplay-wise. Like, you can do insane stuff with him. Definitely more than he can do in this game. You have more options. <coughs> In your opinion, what's the best Yakuza game? Hmm. I think this one is the best game. What about you? Uh, I... No, I haven't seen that meme. <laughs> is it true that GTA Online has referenced Yakuza, or is it an edit? I have no idea. <clears throat> Didn't hear about that. There's drugs with... That have the Toja Clan logo. Huh. Yeah, I didn't hear about that. Does anyone know anything about that? It's my favorite character. Sarizawa. So you want to Oh, someone made a crew of the Tojo's logo. Okay. It's me. <laughs> okay, uh... If Yagami can come back, who would you like to replace him with? I think... I've seen a lot of positive reception for Kaito, as, you know... Someone who could take over, but at the same time... If they can't bring Yagami back for whatever reason, that that gameplay of Yagami's is... I'm gonna be sad about that being gone. Yagami has arguably the best combat in the whole franchise. Can you imagine, fellas, a future with no more crane style or tiger or snake style? That's a sad, sad future. <sighs> yeah, no juggles. Like, you can do juggles with Kaito, but they were definitely more fun with Yagami. Look who it is. Make some space. Someone picked up a weapon. Okay. No, 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 no. All right, one is almost down. Oh, 
Okay, it's just you and me. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like Yakuza 4 in that sense, but look at him. Is there an attack boost upgrade in this game? I forget. I think Yakuza 4 did have that when you train, at least for Akiyama. But it's not something you need. Right, I mean, outside of the food upgrades, was there like a, an attack upgrade? Attack boost, whatever? I think there was. And I don't, and I'm not talking about the drunken attack boost, I'm talking about normal ones. Alright, so what, yeah, someone else said the same thing earlier. He's not playing around. <laughs> Uh, Do what? Let's go. Have you thought of doing a modded run of any game? Um, I did a few of those, but we'll see. It's been a while. Right, yeah, that's what I was talking about, uh, Load. One of the reasons I don't want to see a return for Shinada is because his story is done. Yeah, I agree. You know, I like Akiyama, I like Shinada, but... Akiyama mm -hmm. definitely already <laughs> had, like, has fallen to that... Uh, Syndrome, if you will. He had a story in 4, and even then it wasn't... Like, compared to the other characters, maybe minus Kiryu, because Kiryu had the least involvement in 4. Compa compared to Tanimura and Saijima, all Akiyama had in 4 was that he loved Saijima's sister, and that's it. But then in 5, he's just babysitting Naruto. Yeah, this is a sick long battle theme. I think Akiyama's role in 6 as a supporting character was actually pretty nice. Because, first of all, it allowed you to see how he would be like as a supporting character. And I feel like it was pretty nice, like, they didn't shoehorn him in as a playable character just because, you know, content and playable character, I guess. Yeah, Maceo. Yakuza 5 destroyed the point of Yakuza 4 being a passing of the torch. That's an argument I don't see often, like, or ever. But, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Uh, for those who don't know, Yakuza 4 in Japan was called, well, as you know, Ryuga Gotoku 4, but there was a title, Successor of the Legend, or something like that. And in a way, they did succeed him, but also... not really. Because... <laughs> as many times as they've tried to say goodbye to Kiryu, you know, he comes back the next game like, Hey guys, I'm back! Look, it's me! Kazuma Kiryu! Your favorite protag. 
Physics. What? Oh, I have this? By default? No way. Yo, this is a game changer. Listen, I didn't get no upgrades, okay? Watch. Look. Level 1, level 1, level 1, level 1. For any naysayers, any non believers, this is not rigged. This is not a drill. Kiryu just has it by default. <laughs> Uh-oh. Guns! Okay, another boss. Let's see how this goes. Fellas. A new villain enters the scene. I would have rather Akiyama have been absent from five. Then just have him fight Kenai the whole game. <laughs> like, uh, I'll say this. There's something about the rivalry between Kenai and Akiyama that I do like, but... Yeah. I understand. Yo! Nice. God, I miss wall bounding. No, 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 not you, not you, goddammit. Can I... Okay. No, no! Okay. Okay, nice. nice, nice. second now for the quick time event. Uh -oh. Any second now. Any second now. Dude, just do it. <laughs> Hello? Do I actually have to take down all the HP? Okay, there we go. I could have sworn once you get him to half HP, then he does it, but I guess not. Does the grab... I think it does. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Nice. Seems like Katsi and Akiyama would have a rivalry, but that goes nowhere. <laughs> God, the whole thing between Katsi and Akiyama, where he's like, Katsi, you're a good actor. Again and again, but it goes nowhere. <laughs> like I said, Katsi, you're a good actor. Mm, Katsi, you've been working on that acting game, haven't you? Mm. <laughs> I 
No! Drop your weapons. Now! <laughs> yeah, do you guys think Katsi had sick movies when he was acting? We could try to unlock the extension of this, I guess. It's gonna take a lot of repeating, though. No, 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 you... That's not what I wanted to do, but sure. That works. Oh. <laughs> Kiryu, Kiryu! Yes, I know! Kiryu, please! Stop thinking and get to working! Oh my god, this guy... <laughs> Why did... Why did they think this addition was a good idea? Or at least, why did they have to make it so that you don't, you can't do heat actions? Hmm, this Daruma roll looks really tempting. Maybe I should actually try to drop it. Yeah, just do it, Kiryu. <laughs> Please. There we go. Uh. Yeah, I'm confused. Do you think Kiryu will be killed off in the Yakuza 8? Are you crazy? No way. And I don't say that because I don't want to see Kiryu being killed. I'm saying that because as soon as they do that, fans are gonna absolutely lose their shit. No, how could you take away Kiryu from us? You can't kill him. How many times have they tried to kill Kiryu already? Like, Yakuza 1, maybe. Yakuza 2, definitely. Yakuza 3. <laughs> Yakuza 5, multiple times. Yakuza 6. It's not happening, dude. Technically, there is an attempt in Yakuza 0 as well, but knowing Laogui, that probably he probably just intended to slow down Kiryu, who knows. Akiyama, yeah, Akiyama in 4. <laughs> I legit don't mind like when protagonists die like that, but do it like do it in a good way where there is meaning to it. Um, the next protag protags are likable, and like there's still interesting stuff going on. I don't mind, but the problem is RGG doesn't have the uh, the strength to do it because they know fans will lose it. If uh, Yakuza 7's initial reception is anything to go by. Uh, I think I'm gonna use one of the heat drinks and get that. I need to store the, uh, the equipment as well. I'm not gonna use them. Uh oh, we got a badass. Okay, I gotta get that climax heat out of the way. There we go. On the boss. Uh, 
And then we can use an essence of terror. Oh, we oh, okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Free kills, free kills. Nice, nice, beautiful, even. And boom, baby. Is Dragon Spirit mandatory? Uh, yes, you do have to learn it. Oh my god, just... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Kiryu, you? Oh, dude! Oh my god, what is wrong with you? I thought I only did it once by mistake, and then I kept, like, tapping square, and that's what he kept doing. I guess there was some kind of glitch with the arrow inputs. You idiot! Man, something that I don't like about this game's combat is comboing people from behind is not the same as Yakuza 4 or 3. It's kind of slippery, if that makes sense. Let's give it a test. Like this. He just turns around, he doesn't care. And then, if he actually does flinch, you somehow end up in front of him. And that's not a remaster issue. It's just Yakuza 5. Yakuza 3 and 4 had this sharp combat, if that makes sense. Where it definitely was way more possible to combo enemies from behind. Is that a Tamashiro clone? He was a... Uh... Oh, what's his name? A Hakaho Captain clone, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. A Hakaho Captain clone, but without the... Uh, that one annoying move. Ugh. Oh, look, it's me after Yakuza 3's uh, stream. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, a lot of people want a, Ka a Kazuma game, so I wouldn't mind. Welcome, welcome. Look at how fast the skipping is here. Man, if only... You had the same speed for every other, like, in-game dialogue. Wouldn't completely fix the issue if, you know, not being able to skip scenes like that, but... Would make it a bit better. Okay, uh, we gotta find the Yahata... Oh, no. We took two fucking steps. And this encounter was like, hey buddy, I see you're back from a trip. How about I, you know, just walk over. So, I'm pretty sure there should be one here. Another one? Oh my god. Guess we have to walk. You get the beads from that guy over there, but eh. I'm assuming you have to get the right answers, right? All of them? To get the beats? What? Another encounter? Really? Oh my god, dude. Give me a break. <laughs> dude! There's another one up ahead! Oh my god. Stop it, please. Please, stop it. Holy shit. I know people- oh my- I see a fourth one, dude! Look, Yakuza 5, I know you're memed on for, like, having the most encounters of all fucking time, but come on. You don't have to make it this literal. <sighs> you know, sometimes I get comments saying, oh, am I the only one who enjoys random encounters? No! But when you have encounters every two fucking steps, it gets annoying, eventually. Like, having normal, a normal encounter rate, as well, gets annoying eventually, but when you have it doubled like this, you're gonna get annoyed, uh, twice as fast. 
Yeah, I actually, I don't mind the random encounters in 3 and 4 because I find those way easier to dodge. Because in um, 3 and 4, um, how do I say, instead of like walking around in random spots, Yakuza 3 and 4 actually have them like um, standing in um, fixed spots all the time. Like yeah, they walk a bit, like the, the back and forth they do is always the same. In this game, though, it's literally random. Like, look at this guy in a literal corner right now. Um, I don't know if I use the proper words, but I think you guys get me. In three and four, like you, you know, you see them up ahead, and there is a lot of room to dodge them. Um, in three and four as well, when you like run behind them, there's a good chance they're not gonna hear you because you know you're behind them. In this game, though. <laughs> Oh, you're running behind me? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's you! Let's fight. It's uh, just harder to dodge. And we have another guy. My god, dude. <clears throat> what are you- Dude, you're obstructing the traffic. Get out of the way. Uh, this is on hard. Idiot. What'd you say about me? Second group should be somewhere down here, I think. <laughs> yeah, Rafai. Okay, there is the second group. Oh. I spent like one hour looking for these random groups of enemies. Man. We talk about this from time to time, but when you have these segments of the game, where you have no marker and you have to look for something... Maybe, like... Some people definitely don't mind it, but... Man. Can be annoying. Uh, one example, by the way, that I always bring up when I'm talking about that is uh, Yakuza Zero. Uh, when you have to fetch. Uh, no, when you have to look for info on Tachibana Real Estate, I think. That... <laughs> God. <clears throat> yeah, Bigfoot. You gonna do Lost Paradise with no upgrades, or is that torture? No way. No way. Upgrades in that game are so mandatory, it's not even funny. Plus, we also would have to stop and grind. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, okay. We're rich now. Uh-oh, victory road guy? Yes. And there's our Yahata guy up ahead, too. Okay, let's run. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. 
Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, I'm probably gonna skip Yakuza 7 because we can't do it. It's just not possible because of the nature of the game. We might be able to do a challenge though, like Ichiban only maybe. Oh my god, dude, stop! It's Tanimura! <laughs> beards on these NPCs are so weird. They are. They look like they shaved a bit of their own hair and like put uh, glue on it on their face. Yo, Jordan, how are you doing? I did it before, it was a nightmare. Uh, what were your stats? Out of curiosity. Was it like maxed each of on all jobs maxed out as well? Oh boy, here we go. You know, one thing I don't like about 7, the laser move, if you do New Game Plus, you have to get that again. And it's like, man, come on. Uh, yo, Toru, I, yeah, I think I got... Uh, an email about uh, what you sent me, but I, uh, I didn't check my DMs. Uh, so wait, modder is activated that? I didn't see it. Man, I hope, like, maybe, say, like, maybe hoping for the end of this month is a bit too generous, but I'd love that. We got him! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! You won't finish five today, right? I was thinking of splitting this into two parts, but we'll see. Um, if we do, I might stop after Haruka's part, after we're done with that. And then continue the rest tomorrow. Oh no. Oh, they have all the original? I don't know. God, I can't wait for the second half of the mercenaries. And something that I really hope or wish Capcom did is like, with the games like Resident Evil 4, if you're done with the main game, you would have a way to unlock the mercenaries character, but for the main story. And like, for cutscenes, you can make it so that, I don't know, you either... Oh my god, dude. Two encounters within, like... Forget it, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Like, if they have... If they, like, make cutscenes either just the exact same way, just that, you know, you play as these mercenaries characters, I wouldn't mind that. Um, or maybe if they just completely take out cutscenes or something, I don't know. I wouldn't mind anything, really. Just give me those mercenaries characters in the main story, without mods. Uh... Uh... I see, I see, that's cool. Oh no. So I just chapter will turn this into a three-part stream. Yeah, we're suffering with this city. I'm not looking forward to uh, Tsukimino. Oh, I thought that was an encounter. I got scared. Oh, no. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, my God, dude. <sighs> this stream has turned into me complaining about Yakuza 5 random encounters. I'm sorry about that, guys, but... Like... Look at this shit! Two encounters in one screen! How can you... Like... Is that a third one up ahead? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't know, Andrew. I hope he will have new party members. Maybe one or two returning ones. You would think they would be more vicious at night, but no, they're out here in the morning. 
What are you looking at? Do, 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 do. Is there even a world record for Yakuza 5? I think that, yeah, th there has to be. Um, Froob speedruns Yakuza games, like, professionally. F R O O B. He streams on Twitch. Maybe we should check out his stuff. Uh, I think he speedrun every single Yakuza game. Original Kiwami, Lost Paradise, the Samurai games, everything. If there's anyone holding, like, actual, actual world records, it's him. I think he did Kenzan as well, yeah. Online? Okay, yeah, he got me. <laughs> but maybe I should do online. Yeah, because I'm online, speed run, any percent? Yeah, I saw that he does speed runs for sub stories as well. That's insane. Just for you. There you go. <laughs> Was this the longest the Arcus game before like a dragon? Yeah. I need to unlock this wall extension. Is Lucky Dragon actually longer than 5? Let me check my playlist. So, the story marathon. Let's pause that. Um, no, Wraith. Okay, so... Yakuza 5 took... Um, 25 hours? In the story marathon? Yakuza 7 took... Uh, 26? or No, 27 hours? Give or take? So if they're like... They're about the same at the very least. Speedrun light is way faster than five. But let me guess, it's because you <laughs> it's because you can't skip in-game cutscenes in uh, in five. Whereas in the Dragon Engine, you can skip literally everything. Makes sense. Grab credits, no more. Let's use that. Okay. Here we go. No more grabs. Oh. <laughs> 
now I'm gonna heal. Uh. Extinguish a part yet? No. We're heading there. Why did Sega decide to rename Yakuza to like a dragon? I forgot if they answered that in an interview already, but I'm just assuming it's gotten big enough outside of Japan for them to be comfortable with the actual name. I don't know. I'm sad about eight not getting Zhao and Han probably because they were they felt like guests. Yeah, I know what you mean, but. At the same time, they're not actors, and I feel like that does increase their chances to come back, if someone like Namba's coming back. Because Namba is someone you could also argue, like, his story is done, he could take a... Oh, what's the word? He could be on the sidelines at this time, but he's not. I'm actually surprised they brought him back. Because, you know, with actors, it's usually a one-and-done deal. But then you have someone like Yagami as well. Lost Judgment really surprised me with that. It felt so surreal. game on PC a remaster or for it's, it's both. It's support of the PS5 remaster. <laughs> leaks? Yeah, well, I would take leaks with a grain of salt, because... How long has it been since the Ryuji and Hanjungi game leak? Yeah, that was a uh, that was an interesting one. It's been at least two years since that one. Alice? <laughs> oh no! This can actually turn into a real bad stun lock fest. I think it's started. Oh, dude, okay, okay, that's enough. Stop. <laughs> Palace. <laughs> How did I miss? Holy shit! <laughs> of all things, this is how we died. Oh my god. That particular part can be a hit or miss. If you gather them all and like use the extinguisher, it's easy, but... Maybe I should have used the climax if I mean. Here you is done playing the round. Damn. 
It's funny that you mentioned Takasugi and the Fire Extinguisher. In Yakuza Online, the last event had Shinara and Takasugi, and the weapon you get from that is, is the Extinguisher. Can we use... Yes. No. God damn it. Triggering some heat actions is a bit finicky. Somehow missed. how this guy casually kills the two guys with him. <laughs> They're not coming back from that. Can I say a moment in Yakuza 6 that I don't understand? Uh, sure. I wanted to use the heat action, goddammit. Hammer guys are a special breed. Just realized Saijima's part is gonna suck due to weapon revelations. Wait, uh, come again? How did the Morinaga and Aizou fight go? Pretty well, actually. I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I wasn't planning to use much of weapons anyway. I'm confident they'll kill off Kiryu and Yakuza 8. Ooh, okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? Will they? Or will they not? RGG doesn't seem like a, the kind of company to cater into fans. Hmm. You know, on one hand, that is true, but on the other, Kiryu being still alive is, you know... They took a big leap with the Akaza 7. Respect uh, to them for that. Different protag, different genre. 
but I don't know, man. Kiryu is like changing the genre is one thing, but changing, I mean, killing the uh, the Yakuza character. And by the way, that's not to say I don't want them to kill Kiryu, because again, I like if they do it well, go for it. But otherwise. I want Kiryu to die due to being too old. Yeah, well, Kiryu will live past 100. So we're gonna be waiting a long time. What is this guy? Oh, the camera! <laughs> that happened to me on Yakuza 3 or 4 before. I think on the PS3. Interesting bug. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Kiryu's gonna live longer than Daidoji, uh. <laughs> I'll take that. Okay, now... What should we do is the question. Should we use the extinguisher to, like, stun lock them as well? Or should we maybe use rage? Or uh, whatever it's called. Let's use rage. Alright, fellas. What if they can stunlock you in this state, too? That would be hilarious. Alright, so far so good. Give me that. Nope. Buddies? Whoa, 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 whoa! Lao Kalong! Calm down, dude! Holy sh... My man just pulled a fucking Lotus fist on me. <laughs> Do not skip the upcoming cutscenes, please. Listen, guys, listen. I know there's cutscenes all of you want to watch, and I respect that, but if I do it for one person now, another person is going to say, Oh, please, keep that next cutscene for me. And here, we're all about equality, so we're going to skip all cutscenes. Where's the boss? Oh yeah, the bad guy. That's going to be a bit annoying. Uh-oh. Well, Iron Pipe guy. By the way, anyone recognize that head? Nice. That's a free kill. Nice. Why did they take juggling and wall bounding in this game? No, shit. Okay, nice. That didn't hit somehow. Whoa, okay. Busted hitboxes for the both of us. Nice. Alright. That's it we use. Shameless. <laughs> Pretty sure even if you don't press that one, it's still gonna work.
Do you think RGG will handle the Jet Set Radio remake? I have no idea. Uh, I've heard the name, but I know nothing about that game. I'm thinking of making more coffee. Yes. Who in the chat has snacks with him right now? What do you have? I still have this candy tin. Oh no. Man in white. Finally, a worthy rival to Man in Black. I had chocolate, but I ate it. Sucks, man. <laughs> Buddy. What are you doing? See, if I was an average person in real life, which, <laughs> I mean, funnily enough, that's what I would do. See? No, no, no. Instead of, like, reporting the situation or doing something about it, let me record that shit. Like... Oh, shit, I just said I wouldn't get revelations. Well, technically, I I'm not gonna use this, so... Uh. <laughs> oh, buddy. He's up, jeez. Right, I, I actually wasn't sure if I would get quick time events here. That works. Dude. Yeah, Isaac. Yeah, Kerry is like, wonder how much, how many likes this will get. And upload that to my Twitter, my Instagram. Failed. You weren't inspired. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yak is a five, please. Uh, I need to store uh, my. Uh, oh, you used to. Oh, you don't want to be grabbed, huh? Well, too bad. Okay. Who's scared? You are. We gotta watch out for anyone that will make a phone call. Oh, backup already arrived? What? Or maybe they were already here, I don't know. Where did you come from? At least the wedding counters were walking through, but I mean, when you get an, like encounters in a whole street, back to back, have fun walking for like a whole minute. Okay, I'm gonna store some of the equipment that I have, and probably buy some heals. We haven't used as many heals as I might have thought that I would so far. 
And I think just by saying that, I did jinx myself, so uh, that's gonna be fun. Do -do -do. You know, let me ask you guys this. How do you feel about the fact that Yakuza 7 completely dissolved the Tojo and the Omi? I feel like... Th there was backlash about that for sure, but... I feel like with those gone, they can take the story to... Like, exciting, unknown heights now. Because, like... I don't know. It just feels like every game with the Tojo and the Omi is predictable now. But now that we know, you know, those two giants are gone, you can only wonder where it's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, dude, same. It's Tojo over. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, people be preaching about how Yakuza reflects real life events in Japan, but when Yakuza, when the Tojo and Omi are gone, they they forget that. Does Yakuza 5 have 5 playable characters? Yes. So yeah, I'm pretty sure just because the Tojo and Omi are gone, that's just two clans. There, there's like a whole lot of other Yakuza clans around Japan. Uh, and yeah, I do agree with what someone said earlier. Uh, the Judgment Games proved that um, they can make amazing villains who have nothing to do with the Yakuza. Um, I'm gonna say this without... I mean, we kinda already are talking about spoilers, but I'm just, I'm just gonna say it this way. The, the the main villain of the first Judgment game, arguably one of the best villains they've ever made in the whole franchise. Is he Yakuza? No. Do -da -da. Man, I just want the Yakuza game where we see Jin Goda at his prime. He was still at his prime in Yakuza 2, they just didn't want us to see that. He just had to stand up. Hey. Go. How is this gonna go? Let's find out. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't get to grab someone. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Grandmaster. Oh, here we go again. Oh, 
Uh oh, shotgun guy. All right, buddy, we're gonna need your shotgun. Please comply. There he is. No, no, no. Oh my god. Should we heal? I'm gonna try one more attempt without heals and then see how it goes. If I die again, I'll just use heals. Okay, so we have weapons already on the side. No tickets. What if I... Uh-oh. Dude, dodge is way smaller when you have this pipe. Still wanna know what's up with Saijima going to China and Dead Souls? We'll never know. <laughs> All they said is he had some business there. Yeah, that's why he's not in Dead Souls. No joke. I think not using weapons is better. Instead, I guess we can find out if we can make it. Uh oh. I guess it's a little better. Did they cure the apocalypse in the lore? They did. With the power of friendship, baby. Uh oh. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah. Pick up the shotgun. They're running. Yeah, I'll just use heals next time. How much better is Yakuza 5 compared to 3? You mean generally or with the no upgrade run? Honestly, I don't think anything is gonna match Mine. Mine was just a special case. Because even with using a full inventory of heals, or almost full, that, like, man, it was tough. Mainly because of the infinite heals. Why did I use that? I should have used the rage. General. Well, I guess if you want to look at it objectively, 5 has way more content. Story, that depends on you. But, uh... I don't know. Thank you, Adrian. Okay, maybe we can actually get to this guy now with the rage. Fucking took so much heat. 
Oh no, oh no, no! Come on, rage! There we go. <laughs> Most realistic Yaku this year. Yeah, let's bring two rocket launchers for one guy. Yo, thank you for the eight months, Adrian. Thank you, buddy. Okay, gotta figure something out. Okay, I see... I saw a sword. This... I think the bat is really good for, the, for this crowd. Uh, what do I pick? Oh, that's a knife. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that. Uh -oh. I feel like I never got to a, in, to a point in 3 where the combat got spicy. Yeah, fair enough. Like, generally speaking, you have less options in 3 compared to this game. With every character, really. I think you don't even have to attack the hammer guys, you just have to like take out a certain number of enemies. If I remember right. And then that uh, quick time event will just proc. Nice. Very nice, we love it. Yep, there we go. Oh no, not yet. We have to. I don't think we have to take out this guy again. We just, you know, we gotta beat. Oh no. They took away my, my beautiful rage. No, 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 no. No, not you. We don't have to take out the boss, do we? Does anyone know for sure? I, I think we actually got here without heals so far. Now the question is, do I use heals or, or do I risk another retry? I do, okay. Well. Oh, the red boys, all of them? Okay. That should be all of them. <clears throat> Let me take that. There we go. No translation here. This. Watch this. Shoot. 
Epic, dude. <laughs> Guy's life is flashing before his eyes. And we're done with Kiryu. Who is excited for Saijima? No, no, no. Sleep? What do you mean, sleep? Wake up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, while you guys watch this amazing scene with food, I'll be back. I'll make more coffee. なんで<笑> それも行きつけの店やなんてほんま。みじめになってきたわ。なんで<笑> カルビ<笑> なんや、ほら。食え。なんやこれ。丸こぎやないかい。そのホルモンと同じ。俺もお前も。あ肉は焼きすぎたら刀って持って食えたもんやない。せやけどホルモンは違う。焼かれてこそ価値があるんや。あ
登場会をもう一度強用するてそのためやったらあと1年や2年自分役くらいの覚悟はある兄弟俺が戻ってくるまでの間お前しっかり店守っとけあの若い料理長そばで支えたり大悟ちゃんのことがあいつはええ腕持っとるせやけど今あいつの周りは名前やけの連中ばっかりや、oh、確かにな今の登場会は組員の数やったら過去最大の規模になった<笑> Humans are like meat If they're not burnt enough, they're not I don't fucking know. Uh, grab yourself some snacks. This is gonna be a long part. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, but you know how it is. That entertainment is about to be replaced, don't worry. I'm kind of scared of Saijima's part, but also not. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> yeah, at least you, got, you guys got to see the, uh, the meat analogy. Oh my... You got one fingernail on you, and Saijima fucking dies. Relax, Saijima. Oh my god. <laughs> Take. I like Hellstorm more than my Sapphire. I I don't know about you, but I see way more people who prefer Hell, Hellstorm over my Sapphire. I, I think the unpopular opinion is the my Sapphire one. Like even if you go to the soundtrack video, just look at the comments. Um, and you know, fair enough. I uh, I like Hellstorm as well. Okay, let's find out. Put a one in the chat if you prefer Hellstorm. Put a two in the chat if you prefer Massifier. Let's find out once and for all. Okay, seems pretty. Uh oh, no, 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 what time is it in Bahrain? It's 10 p.m. right now. You know what's not an unpopular opinion? Acknowledging that Speed Star is superior to Affected Fight. Mm. Oh no, you see that shit? Two random encounters, two steps away from each other. Ugh. Like the problem with encounters in this game as well, if you're done with one random encounter, it doesn't despawn any any close ones. No. If you finish that fight over there on the left, that one on the right will come right at you. Yeah, Bahrain is an island. A very tiny island. Man, I didn't like playing a Saijima in these games, sadly. I can see why. He is pretty busted, but he's not the most... 
He doesn't have the most variety. Who's more reliant on upgrades, Saijima or Shinoda? I don't think you can buy heals. Would be nice though. Saijima! Get yourself heals for prison, man. Oh boy, look who it is. Uh, looks older than Majima. Inside you will finally get a quick step in this without upgrades. Didn't he have that in the original too? I mean, sorry, in 4. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? What? Hello? I thought I had the grab. Wait, do I not? Do I have to unlock? Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Am I tripping or something? Do you need upgrades for that grab? Why did it tell me about it then? I'm pretty sure this is where you're supposed to use it. Oh, fellas, Sajima's part might be more rough than we expected. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted to do. That might be the best course of action for now. I really forgot that was an upgrade, that's the thing. Why would they tell you about it if it's... That is so stupid. Because like with Kiryu, when we learned the Dragon Spirit or whatever it's called, we had it. Yeah, no. Hello? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, we somehow did it. Triangle? Is that a triangle move? Yeah, size your mask. Oh, here we are. <laughs> I'll say this I like the track for the scene. It's very, uh, dreamy. Skip, I beg you, skip!
Why? Look! It's the best part of the game. Don't know. This is a pretty comfy cell, though. Damn. I'm gonna watch the show, but I'm still at the Yakuza 3. I appreciate the thought, thank you. Would be, I would be glad to have you here for another game that you played at some other time. Okay, talk to every NPC. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Uh, Dragon Spirit. I was talking about Dragon Spirit. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. Yo, Jalen. Uh, going good, but it's getting kind of scary now. Oh, there he is. I feel like Kiryu and Akiyama might be the easiest characters with this no upgrade run specifically. But uh, we'll see. あ、最初のにき。俺のこと探しとったみたいやね。日村と大島のおっちゃんから聞いたわ。いや、それでしたらもう。どないして。ないや。相談したいことあるんとちゃうんか。大丈夫っす。もう断ってきましたから。いくら
しょっわっめしおまおあまとくだがおまどうそうじぶこれ I love how Yakuza 5 Thanks to the memes of, the, of like our streams, isn't only the Yume game now, it's the Babacha game as well. <laughs> um, I feel like subtitles and dialogue is never compatible. Uh, most of the time, they're not one to one, that's why. When you translate anything, Going one to one isn't always a good thing. <laughs> oh no. Using a macro? No. You just hold R1 and X. Like this. Oh boy, my favorite part in Yakuza 5 Dream World. I hate it. Why are we here? Just to suffer. Every time I play Sarjima's part in this game. <sighs> Sarjima's down bad, hallucinating a cabaret club. You know what's the weirdest part about this, though? It's not really him. It's, uh, what's, what's this guy's name? Kimura? Whatever? Hamura? Something? He's like, yo, bro, just have a good time. Imagine yourself in a cabaret club. So who's really imagining this? Saejima or that friend? Himura. Thank you, thank you. I said Kimura and Hamura. <laughs> Yes. Oh. Mm. How the heck does Kaguya remember seeing Saijima? Wait, does she? <laughs> Do you mean like she mentions it later or? Uh... Can I not just leave? Do 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 do. <laughs> What? That is pretty weird. Where in Hokkaido? Sapporo de? Ie, kodo. Huh. Imo, tabu. Kyoto shite. I see. So go. Aomu. <laughs> This takes me back to the hostess marathon we did. <laughs> oh, that was not fun. Let's leave. Oh. He's imagining all of this. Saejima san, Jan! Yeah, who was there for that? The hostess marathon. Oof, yikes. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> oh, look what's coming. Finally, some good food.
No. Ah! This happened to me before as well, and I hate it. Oh, nice, Toru. Loser of love! Everybody say loser of love! Woo! I can't stop it! Loser of love! Woo! Go, go, bye, 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 bye. Come on, baby. Woo! Yeah, jump, bye. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Pretty face. Woo! Woo! I'm okay. Even though I had no, I have no headphones on, I can hear the song in my head. That's basically a perfect score, by the way. The only reason I didn't get it is because I chose simple. I wanted to pick interactive or whatever it's called, but... Skipping and uh, choosing an option doesn't work well in this game. Here we go. Yeah, fingers too fast. バカみたいに行動もなのね夢を追ってきつついて嘘が下手なくせに笑えない笑顔を見せた Oh, he's gonna say it, he's gonna say it. Sadachi. What am I without you? Nothing. Could have had the Asuka there, but no. They really want to forget about her. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
ずっと聞いていたいくらい分かったわありがとうございましたいやそれだけがもうデベロップメントにあすこ、フィルズバッド。OK、We got a restaurant pretty close to here. Have to admit, never did Sudachi's dojo. I mean, same. I only did it years ago on the PS3. Never again, though. Yakuza, right? Good female characters challenge. Impossible. Very true. And then Yakuza 7 came along. <sighs> oh no, <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Here we go, chat is gonna go at it. Someone mentioned Punk Makoto and someone mentioned Park. And then... <laughs> chat, listen, listen. If somebody thinks someone like Yumi is a good female character, just let it be, okay? Like... I'll give you an example. I see a lot of people saying uh, Mikiko is a good female character. Or like a well-written female character. I honestly disagree. But, you know, to each their own. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions and all that. Uh, like, if you want to look at things objectively, Park does have... Um, at least the makings of a good female character. At least. And then, you know, if you like the character, you like the character. Um... Make a Yakuza wife with your list. We would have to add husbandos there too. And that list is gonna be huge. And just a feeling, just a hunch, but I feel like that that tier list chat is gonna have a lot more conflict than any other tier list. You think Yumi sucks? Oh, fuck you! Shit take! <laughs> Saiko triple S tier or I'll hunt you down. Luckily, I think Saiko is probably the best written female character. Boom. <coughs> <coughs> Hot take, maybe not even a hot take. I think Saori is a way, 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 way better written female character than Mikiko is. Then again, though, um, Saori had um, two games worth of development. Mikiko is just, it's like in a nine hour or like 10 hour ish story. Huh? 
I don't know. Even though, like, Mikiko, they tried to make this, uh, like, badass lady character with Mikiko. Something about Saori pulls it off way better. Uh, Mikiko is uh, Kaito's ex-girlfriend in uh, the Kaito Files. My god, so many people are like, who? Who? Who's Mikiko? <laughs> People, play the Kaito Files, or watch it. I have like two streams of the Kaito Files, go watch it. Yeah. Mikiko is Yasuko, but better. No arguments there. Honestly, Yumi is better than Yasuko. And that's saying something. Character names can't relate. Understandable. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Eri the underdog. Yeah. Yeah, Eri is a guest character, so I fully expect her not to be an 8. Yeah. Yeah, this is just chat's coping mechanism with this part. No one wants to, to talk about this part, so we talk about something else. And you know what? That's fine. That's fine. In fact, let me. Oh, never mind, actually. Never mind, I'm just Chat is gonna hate me, but Song Hui does nothing in seven. She's just there. No, that you're, you're right though. I like Song Hui, but you know I'll admit stuff for it's due. Though I think that's exactly why Mikiko is mid, and that's exactly why I want them to do more with Song Hui in eight. Please, RGG, please. Most of what she does in uh, 7 is just behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, taking over the Lumong, etc. Uh, was the Yakuza 4 1 successful? Yes. Okay, here's a tier list. Rank all of the Yakuza restaurants. I bet all of you are speechless right now, because no one fucking knows. <laughs> or, like, at best, you probably know two restaurant names. Yeah. Prove me wrong. Do it.
Saijima. What are you doing? Mystery item. <laughs> I see a lot of... Um, I was going to say Kanrai's, but that went uh, up the chat. Get to go to restaurants, same. Yakuza mini games tier list. Karaoke, disco, S rank, everything else, D, D tier. Well, that, that's a, that's an exaggeration, but I genuinely don't have that many mini games in Yakuza that, that I enjoy. Most of the arcade games are a chore to me. I never go there for fun. If I want to, like, go back to a specific minigame, it's usually karaoke and uh, disco. Maybe some shogi and mahjong, but that's about it. <sighs> okay. Man, nobody's paying attention to the plot unfolding here. What plot? The R1 plus X plot? Okay, yeah, watch, watch this. Dyson Cube is surprisingly stressful. Oh. You okay, my dude? Like, you always stress about... What's it called? Koronion? Like, the black cat. And also the golden cat. And like... Stepping into the wrong tiles and... Man. Even with slowing down the, uh, the dice... I feel like there's not much difference sometimes. Ah, this is the remaster. I think it's more bullshit than Lost Judgment now that you mention it, but I'm not sure. I, like, I don't remember. I just remember having a really bad time with it in Lost Judgment. <clears throat> that should do it. What have you got there? Show it! You mean this? The mystery envelope. An envelope, there's a note inside. Nice jog, you bastard! <laughs> oh, we do a little trolling in prison. We extend our sentence by like a couple of years. <laughs> did you ever play all the old arcade games in Zero? I did, yeah. In Zero specifically, I, I think I played all the arcade games because Yakuza yeah, Zero is the only game where I uh, got the platinum. So I did everything in that game. Uh-oh. You're gonna regret this. Did he say Baba? Baba. I've been meaning to add Baba-chan to the soundboard for a while. I just 
Never got around to it. Yo, look at that stance, man. Now that's someone I wouldn't mess with. Good to know I have the stump here, actually, with Saijima at least. Um, you can find videos on it probably, on it. Oh, do I have the the head press as well? Man, that is sick. Do we? Oh, let's find out. Oh, we are set for life, dude. I love this heat acting so much. Laogui is more handsome than this guy. <laughs> I remember at this particular dialogue, when I was doing the marathon, I don't know what happened to me, I just, I stopped bothering paying attention. This is a pretty long scene as well, if I remember right. Maybe, I don't know. Could we see Saijima Kukugihara during the escape? Wait, what? Saijima! Saijima no Oniki! Will you appear stream? I think you guys would so sooner rather a ma Mahjong stream, no? Is Kugihara the ugliest Yakuza character? Let's see. We have Kugihara. We have Kanai. We have Laogui. We have Shimano. Dojima, I guess. Who else? Jingu? Uh, compare, I, I don't know. Compared to these guys, Jingu is a bit more... Uh, not handsome. He's definitely not... Like, I wouldn't call him handsome, but... You know. Kanda, maybe? Hey. What? Munakata. Minami. At least Minami is something. Well, I was gonna say he's a good boy, but. The guys I mentioned are all like assholes. No, 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 no. This has to be. So. Huh? So. So. Ah. 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 Have you seen the forward on that guy? You could park a whole jet ski there. Yo, fire speed time, hell yo. Hamazaki, when eating the duck specifically. That scene is pure beauty. Who's Katsuragi again? The Yakuza 4 guy. Who, uh... Uh... Who's killed by Yasuko.
Oh boy. Another one of these. I'm going for darts. And I think I'm gonna play with mouse, cause uh... Yes, I'm sure. Nothing like a dream filler, absolutely. Yes. Why can you not skip this? Okay. Uh. Huh. How would that? Wait. I just throw. Okay. I'm just gonna do this with controller, honestly. With the Dragon Engine games, I think it's better with mouse, but... Okay. And... <laughs> no! Oh my god, I'm losing my touch. <laughs> I used to do this no problem on uh, console. Was that Sonic Rush music? It could be. Uh, it could be, honestly, because I think they do use music from other games sometimes. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so not ideal. All right. Let's pray. Okay. All right. I think we got this. <laughs> Man, why is why is this game such a slog? Yo, someone got it, yeah. It's been a while since I listened to Koyo's soundtrack. I love it. I think the latest one I listened to was... Uh, the uh, Ichiro Tonica track. That's probably my most listened to soundtrack from Koyo. I love sitting for hours and holding R1 and X. Same, buddy. Man, I almost want to play Koryo on stream again. I really do. Just thinking about the soundtrack. The fact that they had, like, what, five different street battle themes? It's insane. <laughs> Mafia. Do we have any motorcycles here? I guess we do. Yeah. 
even more broken scooter. Hooray! See that? This guy picked up a bike and thought he had a chance. Oh, oh he actually did have a chance. Alright, alright. Not bad. Now let me take the bike. <laughs> oh, you need me, me, me. Uh, there should be a mod where every loud battle grunt for Saijima where he goes like Hora! or something like that. It just says Baba Cha very loudly. I think he does yell Baba Chan more than a few times in this game. Oh boy, here we go. Thank you. So these guys do drop heals, some of them at least. I don't know if YouTube has this, I don't think they do. But I want something where you guys get a point system, and if you get enough points you can redeem like a sound, like Babacha or something. Twitch definitely has that, but... Moving to Twitch now is not... I mean, I can try it, but like, it's not gonna be as easy as it sounds. Mainly because of the uh, demographic of the channel. <laughs> YouTube, please step up your game. Please! Please! Oh! <laughs> I forgot how dull the prison segment was on this game. Oh yeah. Now try to imagine that while watching the cutscenes and reading the dialogue. Same Ruin. <coughs> Ruin. Like they've been implementing features like, you know, gifting subs, the membership system and all that, but there's still a lot of things they could do. Uh-oh. Oh shit! Three heals all the way over there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Get up, Saijima, get up! No! Can you imagine streaming anywhere else besides YouTube or Twitch? Maybe a new, a better competitive site will emerge. Um, wasn't there talk on Twitter and maybe other places about what what was it called? Kick? About how they offer like almost full revenue for you? They don't. They barely take any percentage. I've been hearing about that, but I've also been hearing shady stuff about it. I don't know if I should say shady, but like I heard things. Ninety-five to five. Yeah, I heard something like that. You can do anything and kick. What are we talking about here? 
Like, one of the things I heard about uh, with Kick is that there was a streamer that was being, like, very hateful and, like, just pity, and Kick weren't doing anything about that. I forget what he did exactly, though. And also, uh, apparently there was a thing where they took away someone's name to give it to a bigger content creator. I didn't read more about it, though. No, oh, can you? <laughs> oh, goddamn. I like YouTube, but man, they're... They can be way too strict sometimes. Just the whole YouTube kids... Uh, the, like, the push for YouTube kids is so stupid. And... If you don't know already, basically what I mean is... I think if your video has, like, swearing or anything remotely... Like... Anything with, like, say, violence like this, for example... There's a good chance it's gonna get, like... The algorithm is not gonna like that video. And that basically means, you know, your channel might not do as well. How many big YouTubers have you seen, like, just going, what the frick? Instead of, what the fuck? Yeah, that kind of thing I'm talking about. Alright, Gugihara, let's do this. And also, just a lot of stupid inequality with YouTube, like, oh... This YouTuber played Resident Evil, and their video is not age-restricted, but mine is. Why? Who knows? Which also, like, happened with big YouTubers, so I'm glad it's, it's not just because I'm relatively smaller, I guess. Uh, just the, the whole, like, rating system and all that is so inconsistent and stupid. But yeah, like, if you get deep enough into YouTube, you will definitely find the weird shit posted on here as well. Which makes you question how the hell it made it here. And how the hell it's still up. When something like me saying the, the bad... Uh, poopoo word. Gets me demonetized and, like, age-restricted. Oh, no more grabs, okay. Kugihara, please. Love how Kugihara has the biggest arena in the game. Yeah. All that space. Grabs, please. No. Yeah, we're playing Yakuza 3 now. Yeah, focus on Baba, focus on Baba. Every time I go to Twitch, they show me a 30 second ad. Yeah, yeah, um... I've had those as well. You'd think YouTube is bad with like the 5 to 15 second ads, which are sometimes unskippable, but... 30 seconds, uh... is a bit of a yikers. How did I teleport behind him? One of the things that irritates me about YouTube is that I see ads that have content that would be age-restricted. Yeah, that too. Yeah, King. God, you guys have no idea how happy it makes me when I see YouTubers calling out YouTube on their bullshit. It's very, uh... invigorating and relieving. Here we go! Baba chan! Let's do this! Here's the thing about ads. Like, 
they're annoying. Wait. Excel oh, R2, okay. They're annoying, but... And I know I know how this is gonna sound like. You'll be like, oh, Devil Leon 7, you're just saying this because you're the YouTuber here, but... I think if you use Adblock, that basically takes away revenue from the streamer. So in a way, when you watch an ad, it's like you're actually financially supporting the content creator. So, uh, you know, just, just, just saying, just, you know. Not saying anything, but just saying. Um, does Adblock work on Twitch? Yeah, Bob. <laughs> Cringe, Mr. Streamer. What a chill. Listen, at least I'm not out here doing great Shadow Legends ads, okay? I say that, but I actually got an offer recently, again. I think as soon as I uploaded the video, even, or some <coughs> something like that. They're like, hey, uh... Mr. Devil Leon 7, we like your content. Uh, are we our Raid Shadow Legends? Can you please make a video or like a stream for us? Man, have you guys seen um, ads for games like. Uh, what was it? State of Survival. Oh my god, the ads on that game are fucking insane. They actually have more budget for the ads than the game itself, because I caved in and actually decided to try State of Survival, and oh my god, they never do anything new, never. Like literally, they, they have like an, an event, in quotes, event, but it's not an event, it, like, here's why, they put out this event for like a special character. Which, like, over half of it is like, oh, pay us, and then you get something. And then when the event is over, they literally recycle the same event right after. Or close to right after. Just a lot of recycling, but literally the same two or three events. It's so... bad. And then you have their ads, which are actually creative. Like, they... Every other week, you see a new ad for them. Yeah, Mafia City somehow had a collab with RGG. And Puzzles and Survival had a collab with Resident Evil. It's going on now. Oh. Do you have a Patreon, Leon? No, I used to. But I cancelled it because I felt like I wasn't offering people enough to really justify them paying me. So it's now just designated to uh, uh, YouTube. Now that you mention that, though, I might add an additional higher tier. I just, again, I don't know what to offer. Like, I know there are people that are willing to actually support creators that much. I just... I also want to be able to offer you something, and I don't know what I can offer you. Tier equals one ten hour Mahjong stream. Baba! Baba! That was me as a kid in my room with the lights out, just waking up from a nightmare. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Though, here's something that I actually did do. I can't remember if it was after nightmares or what exactly, but I got so creeped out as a kid sleeping in my room. Um, I went over to my parents, uh, and I just kind of tucked myself in there. Don't tell anyone. That's between me and you. Yeah. 
moment. Yeah. <laughs> Giant bear. So even if you upgrade up until this point, this boss is actually kind of... He will push you around for a bit. But I think because we're not supposed to have that many upgrades here, we're gonna be fine. Yeah, it would be nice if this had a unique theme, but you know. Yeah, but but. This is on hard. <laughs> yeah, live footage of Tekken 8. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, because it's a very realistic game. Why did 7 happen? It ruined the series. Yeah. The stair, goddamn. Frozen Roar. That's me, yelling to be let out of this village. Okay, here we go. A whole chapter of a minigame tutorial. Shout out to my homie, the hunter, man. One of the most underrated characters. Anyone else? <clears throat> Oh my god. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Once I left, I never returned and did any hunting. Understandable. Alhamdulillah. I don't know how to spell it. I think he did fine. Thank you, thank you. Hunting minigame is nice, it's just... How do I say this? 
Usually when I play Yakuza 5, I play it just to, you know, go through the story fights. So, when a whole game chapter, arguably one and a half, or, yeah, one and a half, or something like that. When a whole chapter, at the very least, is dedicated to introducing this minigame, doing stuff related to this minigame, it's a slog. Like, I can appreciate that they tried to do something new, but man. Yo, Melty. Hope the random encounters aren't being too annoying. So far, so good. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Again, like, the main issue with 5 is just that when you replay the game, a lot of the things you already know, a lot of the things you want to skip on a replay, you can't skip. Um, the Dragon Engine games had a godsend, which is, you know, being able to skip almost literally an entire interaction, whether that's a, a full cutscene or an in-game dialogue kind of cutscene, anything. Du, 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 du. I love the Haruka part, mainly because you can breeze through it on replays. They didn't know what to do with Saijima, the whole non-existent Saijima family proves that. Yeah, the Saijima family has to be one of the most... A top meme. Top Yakuza meme. Saijima family. Oh, you're a Saijima fan? Name every Saijima family member. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Answers. Good answers. Uh... Yeah, fair enough, Cody. Again, I was just talking from like a replay perspective. Replaying Haruka's part definitely takes way less uh, time than this. Here we go. You know what time it is. R1 plus X. Um, yeah, River. Wouldn't have minded that. Yeah, let me reword that. I, I think this the Haruka and Akiyama part, but like both. That 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 whole third part I think has better pacing compared to this like again Haruka's part you can just you don't have to worry about encounters that speeds things up a lot by itself um, the Princess League stuff is very straightforward Akiyama doesn't have to do as much like walking around talking to NPC1 NPC2 and then a whole tutorial about something optional. There's none of that. I know I say this a lot. So if you're hearing this for like the fifth, tenth time, I'm sorry, but... I do think... Yakuza 5 is a case of, like, um, in, in quotes, more is better. Um, I think something like Yakuza 7 did that better. I know, I know, don't, don't listen, listen, don't, don't hold me at gunpoint, but... With Yakuza 7, I feel like a lot of the optional stuff... 
was paced a lot better than this. Like, if they had to show you how something works, like the business minigame, for example, it definitely t didn't take a whole chapter. <sighs> I think Yakuza 7 just somehow did a very good balance on content and uh, quality. So I'm hoping 8, because they're taking a while with that game, is going to also have a very good balance, despite, you know, them saying it's going to be like the biggest Yakuza game to date. <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah, fair enough, Troller. I think I just didn't mind it because in 7 in particular, you had to, like, get better equipment and all that. So, uh -huh. grinding for money in 7, for that story point, also would have helped you in the long run, or the short run even, because you get a party member, which would help you tremendously, and you also get a lot of money to get equipment and heals, and then you can just breeze through the rest of the story. Well, arguably, until you get to, to September, which you have to... Um, do the arena. But uh, I think between, like, doing that grind and between skipping a lot of, like, well, maybe not skipping a lot of dialogue, but just the way Yakuza 5 handles content, I take Yakuza 7. Just for future games, I really do hope they make uh, replaying the games more, more like, you know, replay friendly. That would be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go on a bit of a tangent and a bit of a rant here, but... Something that blows my mind. Yakuza yeah, Dead Souls has a feature in Premium Adventure. You talk to a guy in your hideout, you can replay every single story long battle, every single story boss fight, and you basically have no reason to, like, go to in into New Game Plus. I mean, you can do it if you want to, but, you know, you don't have as much of a reason, I feel like. And then they just forget about that feature and never bring it back again. Like, why? If I had to pick between Climax Battles and that... I would easily take um, the uh, replayability of boss fights and long fights at will. Like, imagine that with each and every single Yakuza game. Like, <sighs> Yakuza 1 original technically has that. 2 original took that away. It took ultimate battles away for some reason. Yakuza 3 got that, you know, ultimate battles. But imagine if in Yakuza 3 you could go to the hideout and like you talk to, I don't know, anyone really. And then you can pick, like, Rikia, Tamashiro 1, um, Richardson, Hasebe, I mean, anyone, really. That would be so fucking sick. Um, would save you the trouble of, like, skipping five hours of dialogue to get to the part that you want. Um, and the way it would work is, you carry your current upgrades to the fights you're about to go. So, say, for example, you're maxed. And you pick the Rikia fight, you're maxed with, against Rikia. Um, that is such a good feature. I, I really don't understand why they never used it again. That is the perfect, like, replay feature to have for Yakuza games. And I'm fucking shocked the Dead Souls of all games has that. Ugh. <sighs> Listen, I <laughs> I already see a few people in the chat who are like, yeah, there he goes about Dead Souls again. Listen, tell me that's a bad feature. You can't. Like, man. Dead Souls. I, I love Dead Souls, but why does Dead Souls have that feature? And not like any other mainline Yakuza game. Why? Okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, 
I'm crouching. Hello? R2 to reload. Same ducks. <laughs> No, turn the camera, dude. Uh. Yo, Salmon, welcome. Another reason that we need that Souls Kiwami. Yeah. I really hope they bring back that feature again someday. One of the best things they did. <laughs> Why wasn't Saijima in Dead Souls? He went to China for business. And that's all we're told. He's actually doing some Saijima family stuff, I guess. Fellas, finishing 6 soon. Do you think I should move straight to 7 or try Judgment? If you want to notice the technical upgrades, go with Judgment first, and then go for 7. Because that's actually the chronological order as well. Um, but it's up to you. Are you playing on PC, by the way, or uh, console? Oh my god, please, let me skip this tutorial. I've seen it like a million times. Please. <laughs> L2, okay. Why did I have to stare at his face for like five seconds until I was able to move on? It's these little things, man. It's these little things. Yeah, so play Judgment 7 and then Lost Judgment. Rank all Yakuza games by soundtrack. If we're talking soundtrack, I think all of them are like S tier. Maybe except for one or two, actually. I leave for half an hour and they're still in the mountains. Yep. Welcome to Saijima's part. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go on Reddit to post about this after after the stream. How did I? Oh, there we go. Okay. What the hell was that? Yeah, that's literally me. For some reason, when I was thinking about the soundtrack, I was like, maybe Kiwami 1 isn't S tier. It has good tracks, but there's like two that, that like stand out above the rest. How do I become a member? Should be under the chat. The dollar bill icon. best side characters tier list if Shinji and Takasugi aren't in S tier I can't I don't trust you Yeah, and I don't know what they were thinking with Kiwami 1, where they made a remix of the Nishiki family theme, and then they used it in a five-second fight. Yo, thank you for the dragon tear, James. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. We got one. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, if you guys had to pick one, which one has, which game has the best soundtrack all together combined? Best tutorials. This one S tier? Okay, Ryan. It was nice knowing you, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, thank you, James. Thank you. Yakuza 3. And a lot of votes for 3, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, okay, that's unexpected. I like the soundtrack of 3 as, three as well, but damn. Yo, Vic, thank you for the dragon tier, buddy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got a lot of new members this stream. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, 6 definitely has, like... The tracks of that game are insane. I love how almost every major boss in that game got a track of their own. One exception is, uh, you know. Oh wait, do I have to get the meat, I think? To give them back? Yeah, the character themes in Dead Souls are really good. Definitely slept on. The predicament themes especially. Mm. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Yeah, we could have had a Jimmy truck, but... We didn't get so lucky with that one. You gonna do themed runs for A4 Remake 2? No merchant, no upgrade? Honestly, I wasn't planning on it, because... Did I tell you guys I already got S Plus on Professional recently? And I, uh, uh, let's say I got a little help to do that. Uh, I downloaded a mod that basically made headshots for regular enemies, like insta-kills. They can still mutate, but uh, with the help of that, I, I did it. Oh yeah, Majima's predicament is amazing. Also love Kiryu's. So, so, so good. Uh, Ryuji's normal battle theme is amazing. His predicament is also good, but I prefer his normal battle theme. Um, Does Jimmy show up in the Yakuza Online? I don't think so, no. He didn't get a card. Would be hilarious if he did, though. Who would fucking... I mean, hey. My chat loves him, and I love him, so... Oh my god, dude, we're still in this place. See what I mean with this part? Like, man, even if you skip, this chapter takes so long. It's annoying. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Like, it feels like every time I play 5, and every time we get to Saijima's part in particular, I always rant. I'm sorry, but... Look at this shit. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, like, I, I know some of you like this part and all. No nothing is wrong with that. But, 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 let me ask you this. If you were replaying this game for the 10th time, and you have to see this scene for the 10th time, skip everything for the 10th time, would that still be fun? That's the question. What am I... I don't have a prompt. 
Do I have to crouch? <laughs> Am I missing something? I'll give you a good example of a uh, a forest part that is not so bad to replay. Original Yakuza 1. When you go with Haruka to the gambling den. That's not really not that bad because you go there, you spend like 2-3 minutes tops and you're done. <laughs> then you have this. Even if you skip everything, it's like... Am I... Oh, Snuffly, welcome. Okay, Okudura, whatever your name is. How the fuck do I do that? Oh, oh, whoops. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Okay, legit, guys. Am I, am I missing something? I have the snares. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to set it up here. No. Dude, let me go back and <laughs> is it actually soft lock? Great, another reason for me to hate this part. Oh. Uh. Well, I don't see anything that I can do, so I think I do have to reload. Set snares to hotkeys. Can you actually do that? Wait. Uh, controls. Hunting. Where is hunting? Okay, am I blind? Oh, no wait, that's not it. Item menu, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, are you telling me to use it from here? Or you go to the controls and then set up? Yo, negative. Welcome, welcome. Are you allowed food power-ups? No. Let me check this again. Pause, mini crouch, dodge, fire gun, da -da 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 -da. command PC. This is the only thing that I can see that is remotely linked. Oh, fuck it, dude. I'm glad we have a save here at least. We have to redo a whole snow segment, but... Hope you guys like this part, because... We're staying for more. It's 
funny how this was a soft lock and something like Mania wasn't. Even though I thought Mania was gonna be a soft lock. Oh boy, more talking to people in the village. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna save after the first snow segment, uh. just in case. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I am so fucking done with hunting thanks to Saijima. I never want to see hunting again. I will never go hunting in real life. I am done with hunting. No more hunting for me. Oh yeah, I have to talk to that guy over there. No. Yeah. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Isaac. Thank you, thank you. That is really sweet of you. Thank you. No, no, no. Hey, what's up with the side you stairs? Come on. What are you looking at? What are, what are you looking at? That translates to please use more side you stairs. Thank you, thank you, Isaac. Thank you. Hope this makes you feel a little better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> How side you might be looking at me when I say this part is the worst in Yakuza 5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to make this fun while we do all this skipping, but okay, okay, chat, I have an idea. I have an idea. <sighs> The question is, are you ready to hear it out? Which NPC in this village is the best one? Let's hear it. Save Baba! Oh boy. By the way, the bear counts as one of the NPCs. Okudera is among the NPCs as well. <clears throat> you know, I'll say that it's pretty nice taking a walk like this. Just me and chat. Going through a snowy forest. Very uh, therapeutic. I think that's how you say it. The bear then. <laughs> do, do, do. The giant bear does count, yeah. Do, do, do. The river. Let's take a look at the river, actually. Can I... No first person. Yo, sugar bear, welcome. I wonder if this is faster than running. How much super chat for you to do the training? The first size of the training, but fail it just so we can hear the music? Wait, which music? Is there a special game over music? Do-do! 
Do, do, do. do you get upgrades for hunting? Uh, yes. I think you do. One of them is like walking very fast. What memes do you have on the soundboard? You want to check? Oh, it's been a while since I used this one. That's me. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, shit. Kill this arrogant motherfucker. The arrogant motherfucker. Kill this arrogant motherfucker. The arrogant mother. Arrogant mother. Fuck. Kill this arrogant mother. The fucking yakuza. Laugh, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> I have a lot more, by the way. The next morning. Okay, I need to save here. If we get soft locked again, at least I reach right from here. You can get soft lock in Yakuza 5. We just did, yeah. We went to the part with the tutorial where we were supposed to set up traps. And for some reason I couldn't set traps at all, no matter what I did. So uh, I had to reload. If you soft lock, just load up Dead Souls. <laughs> Oh, how I want to do that, but we gotta stick to it. Okay, uh, I need a gun. Side Jimmy needs a gun. Did you forget to bring traps? We had uh, snares. The tutorial like should supply them for you. And I couldn't leave either, so I was just stuck there. Yeah. How did Kiryu's part go? Pretty well, actually. Kiryu has a very good... Uh, like a base startup kit. A base kit. Okay, now we're talking. Do we have Mine's English on the board? Oh, yes, we do. Aru. Okay, got it. No. There's no change in the plan. Bye. Or maybe I should have saved once more. Nice, Snuffly. How'd it go? You playing the whole game today? Probably not. Especially now that I got this soft lock. I don't think I need this, but just in case. <sighs> How far into the series are you gonna go for the no upgrade runs? So after this, I'll probably do a six, zero. We're not gonna do a seven just because of how different that game is. We're not gonna do Lost Paradise. I'm he very hesitant on Kiwami 1 because. I have a super bad feeling about that one, like, more so than any other Yakuza game. Uh, I mean, we can try, but I, I... I'm going into it fully expecting that it will not work. And you know what? That will be a first, so maybe I'll do it. Um, I might do Kiwami 2. Lost Paradise? <laughs> oh, no boy. <laughs> You do that and you have fun with it. Judgment, yeah, I might, I might try Judgment and Lost Judgment, see how that goes. Oh yeah, we need to crouch. Oh, 
Hello, I crouched. Hello? <laughs> Why is this so fucking janky, dude? Whoa, whoa, Sajima. Six should be easy. Here's the thing. It would be easy, but the drop kick is not base kit. So I don't know about that, Chief. I'm scared. I think a good alternative is like uh, bikes on the street. But if you don't have the speed upgrades, and you don't have the power upgrades, and you don't have the drop kick, and let's say there's no weapons, oh, oh, oh boy, good luck. <laughs> Please, skip this. Please. <laughs> Someone suggested Dead Souls. Um, we'll see about it. Um, not even Jingo. Like... Kiwami in general feels like a very upgrade reliant game, kind of like Ishin. <sighs> Project X Zone 2. I tried to get that game, but it didn't go so well. Dead Souls, no upgrade run on Dead Souls difficulty. Pistol only. Okay, listen. <laughs> you lost me at pistol only. Love how Saijima can repair a destroyed safe house instantly. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my... Please. I want to be done with this. They want you to use upgrade so much in zero, it forces you to get one at the start. Does it force you? I think you just have to go to the menu and then leave. If I remember right, at least. But if it does, you know, can't be helped. The way we're going with it so far, if it forces an upgrade, we get it and we just move on. Like Yakuza 3 with the revelation, you have to get it. Is the hardest difficulty in Yakuza Dead Souls seriously called Dead Souls? Yes, it is. Just like, just like how with uh, Ishin Kiwami, the highest difficulty is called Ishin. Oh my god, why is this so slow? Please, Sajima, please. <laughs> yeah. What does Ishin even mean? Restoration. I forget the significance of the word to the game, but yeah, it's called restoration. It wasn't the er uh, the era, right? Yeah, no, they're in the Bakumatsu era. I can't remember. Restoration of Japan, maybe? I don't know.
The Meiji Restoration. Okay, okay. Nice, we have people who've been hitting the books. Still at the hunting part, unfortunately. Uh, I have no idea why he got soft locked. You didn't collect the hunt? Wait. You mean I didn't collect the hunt here or in that same part that we're about to go to? I'm gonna save after this and we'll see. <laughs> Last time. Okay. Okay. You know, I was planning to do Haruka and Akiyama's part as well in this stream, but at this point, I don't know if I will. Okay, so... Uh, first of all... No, let me talk to the NPCs first. I'll save before I head out. What does Kenzan mean? It means arrives. <laughs> like a dragon arrives. And being on the uh, being the first title of the PS3. It's like like a dragon arrives on the PS3. <sighs> okay. Okay, so, 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 um, I'm pretty sure last time I did bring the, the meat, I don't think you need it, and even if you do, they should tell you before you ready up that, hey, you need that meat, bring it, because I got there to that part where I need to set up the traps, and I just got stuck, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't leave, I couldn't put the traps, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> what does dead souls mean? Souls that are dead. No, 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 no. Yeah, it, it is pretty interesting how most of the Yakuza games in Japan got a title, like a name or like something after the, the, the game name. So Yakuza 4, successor of the legend. Um, Yakuza 5, fulfiller of dreams. Yakuza 6. We got that one for once. The Song of Life. Yakuza 0. What was it again? Oath of... It had Oath, but I can't remember what it was. Uh... Does, does anyone rem uh, remember that one? Uh, Yakuza 7. Lightness. No, not light Lightness. Light and Dark or something like that. To the Oath's Place. Place of Oath. Right. And then Yakuza 7 was something about... Yeah, whereabouts of light and darkness. I can kind of understand why they didn't... Oh, by the way. <laughs> we finally did it. Okay, so we didn't need anything. I think this spot was just fucking bugged. We had to restart. Um, if you weren't here. We tried to set up the trap as the tutorial told us. We couldn't. No matter what we did. 
So we had to reload the save from before. And redo, like, I don't know how long. Uh, of progress. Oh, uh, yeah, poggers. I would pog if I wasn't... If, if... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, Sajima, please. Three had no, uh... Subtitle. We got game. Oh, I guess we got to set up on that spot as well. Oh my god, Saijima, please, work with me. Yes. Okay. Why was 6 the only one with the subtitle? Oh yeah, I was talking about that and forgot to get back to it. I think, if I had to guess, one reason why they didn't pick subtitles... They did talk about it, I'm pretty sure. In one interview, at least. I think it's because they didn't want to make the name too long, or something like that. I don't know. There we go. What is the best Yakuza game in your opinion? Except Zero, because I think it's the best one. Well, if we're talking strictly Yakuza... Yakuza 7. If we're including the Judgment games... Probably Lost Judgment. Uh-oh! How do you Mahjong? You don't. Reload, reload, reload! <laughs> right in the... Can you actually stop him here? Yeah, Mahjong is pretty relaxing. Even if... Most of the time, I don't understand exactly what I'm doing. But, uh... You just have to study the thing for a bit. Know the hands, and then you're good to go. It's like poker in that sense. I think the the confusing thing about it is just that it has a lot of... A lot of hands compared to poker. Um... And also, there's more specifics, like, um... There was something in poker, what was it called again? Like, someone sometimes pay, pay pays, like, a low and a high something, there, there's a word. Uh, there's specifics like that in Mahjong as well. Um... He's finally eating. Um, I... No. I... Yeah, small blind, big blind. Thank you, thank you. What is your opinion on Pachinko? Because when I played it a good while ago, I just didn't understand it. That's my experience with Pachinko as well. Um, like, Mahjong is one thing. You can definitely do stuff if you understand that, but Pachinko is like... <laughs> um, I don't, like... It just feels like you, you throw money and stuff happens and you don't understand what that stuff is. Okay, I'm saving again. Because if I softlock again, I don't want to do that shit again. Is Mahjong all skill or luck? It's both, just like poker. 
Yo, thank you for the two months, Kaylin Boone. If I pronounced that right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, happy to have you with us. Um, so, Mahjong, you can, like, it's just like poker. There is luck involved on which cards you get. Pachinko, I don't know, man. Like, like I just could never understand Pachinko. Okay, this is an optional thing. Do 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 do. Okay, good to know. Yeah, Ma mahjong really is basically just poker. Just you know, it has more to it. You. I hate Pachinko and the fact that it's needed for the Platinum 4 and Dead Souls. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Go to town with Baba. Finally. Finally, dude. Anyone who understands Pachinko is lying? <laughs> Do we have anyone in the chat who does? Anyone? Raise your hand, like this. Oh, thank goodness, dude. Oh, I feel like I just got out of an eight-hour stream. And I don't mean everything prior to this chapter. I mean this one single chapter. Chapter three for Saejima. Got like a whole, whole stream. <sighs> Anyone who understands Mahjong? I get the gist of it, but there's some stuff that I don't get. I know that hands are just as important in it as they are in poker. And you have to, you know, just look at the hands you can get and try to get a specific hand to win. ゲーム所属の山中でうち一名の受刑者を遺体として発見したと発表しました残る一名の受刑者に関しても現在も付近を逃走中の可能性が高いと見て全国に大きな受刑者北海道警察は最初の件キャッチャーブレイク札幌市
God, that way it saves so fast before you even have a second to react. Why not install the mod that cancels random encounters? If there is. I'll do it. No joke. Oh, there isn't. I already searched for one. <laughs> Damn, that was a quick response. The police officer is still there, though I think he can sneak by him again. Oh, there we go. Random encounter. And it's a victory road one. And we have guys squatting as well. They think I don't know that's an encounter, but I do. Now watch me get screwed over somehow. And step right into it. Oh yeah, what was the answer for the homeless guy here? Was it 73? I think it might have been 73. If not, I'll just look it up. Excuse me? I was as far away as possible. <sighs> Just walk, lol. Skill issue, lol. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of good that did. And I've been walking for like a while too. Man, like, if I ever see someone ever again saying, just walk, lol, I'm gonna clip this and show it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously. I, I don't. I can't be bothered, but. You know, at least in pretty much every other game, they're so easy to avoid. Why do you sometimes spin rapidly when you grab someone? I just do it too. For fun. I look like a Saiji Makaku about to play. Oh, it's, it's way easier to avoid encounters in 7 in this game. As you've just seen. To avoid that one, I probably would have had to like circle around to the other street. And look, that's another encounter. I think if you bump into him, it'll start. So that's why I'm going as far away as I can. Where did you come from? <laughs> you know a couple of things that make uh, encounters in 7 way more bearable? In this game, if you say for example you're running away, right? Or running past an encounter. If you bump into someone, anyone, okay, anyone, your character will stagger for like an eternity. And anyone chasing you will catch up to you easily. In 7, if you run into anyone, they will fucking die. And 2, Yakuza 7 has the wonderful, 
wonderful, lovely, sweet fast travel system. Say, for example, you want to get to, like, I don't know, the bottom of Ijincho to the top. Use the taxi. Chances are that you'll find an encounter are slim to none. If you do find an encounter, it's not that difficult to avoid it. What the? F I looked away for one second. How, how is he there? Oh. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but like. The bullshit that happens in this game, I, I just can't help it. I have to talk about it. Yeah, the fast travel system in the later Dragon Engine games is a godsend. I love it. See, stuff like that really, really, really helps replayability. Um, and like, just replaying those games isn't nearly as tedious because of something like that. Granted, with something like Yakuza 7, if you do a fresh new game, I think you have to unlock the taxi spots again and again. But if you play a new game plus, that's not an issue. You already have all the spots, pretty sure. Do I have money? Right, I, I'm gonna go to a convenience store and then sell uh, something. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna claim one of the packs. Oh, I also need to buy heals, so I'll do that. Okay, so... Okay, Ibisu is here. Don Quixote. I'm assuming this is it. <laughs> oh shit, hello. Two up ahead, two up ahead. Wait, why am I going there? I swear to god, if I see the squatting guys again up ahead. There's an item that deals with random encounters. Don't complain about trivial things. I mean, yeah, good luck getting that with Sajima. Pretty sure you can't. You get it as Kiryu, and that's it. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Literal corner jump scare. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Three kills. They have the beats for Kiryu. In a city that isn't, uh, well, it's not Tsukimino. And for Saijima, you have a city that is a literal corridor. Corridors. And I'm pretty sure you can't get the beads with him. Until the finale, when you share the items. Okay, let's get some items. I didn't want to get 
more, but... I don't know if these will be enough to get to 50k. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna use one of these, just so I can claim another one. Oh wait, no. I think one of the main problems with five encounters, again, I know I've been going on a, for a while about this, but it is true, like, every single Yakuza game, every single Yakuza game that isn't Yakuza 5, if you go, go into a random encounter, any encounter around you disappears, so you have, you know, some room to breathe and walk. This game doesn't give a shit, though. Say, for example, right where I am, there's a random encounter. And right where that bicycle is, that's another encounter. I finish from this encounter, I leave, that guy is still there. Chances are, because I'm so close to him, he'll come running towards me. That is horrible. That, that like... That, <laughs> that is not good. Uh, I'm glad some of you at least enjoy the rants. By the way, it goes without saying, but... The intention is not to make anyone feel bad, but like, man... <sighs> We're memeing. We're memeing. Just walk? I walk. Speak of the devil. Okay, that, that one is my fault, I think. <laughs> it really does feel like the game is alive sometimes. I'll take you. Oh my god. Yo, look! It's the ghost face mask. Holy shit. A Walmart version of it, but... That is pretty cool. Do, do, do. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Look! Ghost face. Okay. I see an encounter. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Wait, did I? Oh, right. Okay, we have to go in there. Bacchus. Super Burger. Cute. Look. That's that's my chat. Cute. Hello, come and sit down. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Okay, I don't think there's encounters up ahead. I'm gonna fucking eat my words, aren't I? Okay. Oh, we... We ran for more than two seconds without an encounter. Alright. One... Fifty? Oh, we can sell these, we don't need them. Alright. We can't sell weapons, I guess. Um, after five, we'll do either six or zero, we'll see. Yeah, I heard about the bracelet uh, thing. Excuse me. Oh my god. I went for more than three seconds without an encounter. 
Okay, something is wrong with my game. This can't be happening. Okay, I will go and buy heals. There we go. Oh, that guy is an encounter. I see you, buddy. Uh, yeah, yeah, stop looking. Stop looking, I know you're an encounter. Just move on. Every copy of Yakuza 5 is personalized. I think we proved that today. <laughs> Alright. Give me your finest bentos. Bento? Bento? No bento? I'll take these, I guess. Arigato. Do, do, do. Uh, could play pool instead of paying 50k. I probably could have done that, yeah, but I don't know if I want to spend... Uh, potentially, I don't know, a while on pool. Um, I might. Uh, this is on hard, and I probably won't do Legend for zero either. Yeah, well, Berto. Um, no idea, but yeah, probably sometime around then. Is he gonna run towards me because he saw me already? Please don't. Oh, another one. <laughs> Like, the problem with this city is you walk past the first encounter, good. There's another encounter there, and running is not an option because it's a corridor, it's a hallway. And look, look at this shit, dude! You can't make that up! I literally have to walk all the way to the destination. Ugh. Maybe I can run for a bit now. Are we gonna have an encounter behind the truck like last time? Okay. Oh. <sighs> I saw a random encounter or two. The one where you bump into them. I probably would do the encounters as well, but I don't know. I got no upgrades, and even though I can probably do fine, I just, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. You don't plan on doing the car shooting section on Legend? Funnily enough, that's not a problem anymore. For both Zero and Kiwami. If you're on PC, use mouse. Easiest thing ever. Oh no, you can use the mouse. Okay, so was the guy... I think he was here, right? Uh-oh. Oh my... You see this shit? Two random encounters at once. Okay, at least this guy's alone. And one of them it's WASD only? That might be zero then. Because I'm pretty sure I used the mouse. Okay, well. This is giving giving me flashbacks of uh, when I played this game in the marathon, and 
just remembering how relieved I was to be done with Saijima's part. It was insane. Like... Wait. Imagine if this city, or this game in general, had like a taxi system that you can call with the phone. Oh, they, it would be so much better. You would still have a lot of the other stuff you have to skip in the story and, you know, the one hour tutorials, but... Oh, oh, are you already looking at me? Look at him! Look at him! Oh my god. This pacing, dude. And there's another one. My game crashed after I completed the Kiwami Car Chase on Legend. Was it on PC or? Console. If console, oof, yikers. Okay. Please tell me the homeless guy is here. Oh. I think he's on the other side. Or console. Oh no. My condolences. Yeah, looks like he's on the other side. Which Yakuza game is the best, in your opinion? Saijima with her or without her? I don't know. Most chaotic game that you enjoy? Uh, good question. I don't play a lot of chaotic games, I don't think. What about you? I'm assuming you mean something like, I don't know, Dark Souls? Favorite non Yakuza game? Ooh, that's a tough one too. I like a lot of non Yakuza games. Resident Evil. Tekken, though that's kind of slipping now. I don't know. Something about Tekken isn't doing it for me anymore. Uh, the Legend of Heroes series, even though it's been a while since I've played it. Um, Left for Dead. Um. I don't know. Like, for some reason... I I think this game is brainwashing me. I can't think. Would you consider... <laughs> Please spare me, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, Devil May Cry. I love Devil May Cry. Uh, oh yeah, true. I guess he can part. For remake is pretty chaotic, like, a, a lot of times. I've been enjoying Resident Evil 4 Remake so much. I'm probably past my 10th playthrough now. Um, yo, White, welcome. No one counters here, right? Right? Okay. Better than the original? Um, it's hard to say. It's super fun. It's very well made. Um, there are areas where you could argue it does surpass the original, maybe. But there are some areas that, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. The original is better. Okay, it's not 73. Let me search it up.
Uh, Yakuza 5, Saejima Code. 71, close enough. Like, Mercenaries is fucking amazing in the remake. Um, with the second wave of characters they will add, it will, it will it will be arguably better than the original. Arguably. It's very fun. Feels very good to uh, play. Every character has unique themes, which I'm glad they didn't just use one. Uh, Luis is now play playable in Mercenaries. That's like an objective addition to Mercenaries. Um, apparently Wesker, Ada, and two more uh, variations for Leon and Ada are coming later. Yeah, Hunk is amazing in Mercenaries Remake. Um, separate Ways apparently is coming. Um, I don't see Assignment Ada being added, but that's fine because Assignment Ada was very weird. Like, you had separate ways, and then assignment Ada, where she wore a completely different outfit. Her objective was the same, to retrieve the sample. But it was just very different. Like, it was fun, but... It was kinda random. Um... The length for Resident Evil 4 Remake... Is... It's pretty much like the original, where it does... It can take you... 10 plus hours to beat. Um... 10 to 20, or even more, depending on how much you explore. Uh, wait, where did, oh, right, he gave us the picture, right? No Jill or mercenaries for, no Jill or Claire for mercenaries? Yeah, but I didn't expect them to be in. Yeah, I was gonna say, the gunplay, I might actually prefer that in the original, because it's little things. Like, shotgun blasts feel way better in the original. If you use a shotgun on, like, three enemies in the original, they're all, like... They fly away, t like, ten meters back. Um, but then in, in the remake, shotgun blasts feel underwhelming in comparison. Like, you shoot one, you're lucky if you get two to be damaged. In the original four... You can easily blast away like four or five enemies at the same time. Um, it's small stuff like that. And also the durability system, like I get it. They're trying to make the game more difficult, but it feels very cheap. Uh, something like Krauser's Knife, I really wish wasn't limited. Uh, or at least I wish there was a way to make it unlimited. There's, there's no way. Even if you unlock the unlimited ammo accessory. Um, really want to start Resident Evil, but it scares my wallet. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I think Resident Evil does go on sale from time to time. I don't know if you play on PC or console, but they do go on sale for both. Um, if you want a good place to start, uh, I think you can't go wrong with any of the remakes 2, 3, or 4. Though, I'll say this, if you can wait until 3 Remake is like $20 or cheaper, do that, because that game launched at a $60 price tag, and it was not worth that much. They butchered that game, unfortunately. Which, you know, I enjoy that game, by the way, but they definitely... it was a miss. Yeah, RE1 Remake is also a good option. Though, listen, I I'm a person who enjoys tank controls. I don't mind them. But uh, nowadays, you see a lot of people who aren't into tank controls, and th that's fine. You don't really see that often anymore. If you can get through it, uh, if you don't mind playing tank controls, go for it. But if you do, you know. Yo, Jacob, thank you for the 18 months. Holy shit. 18 months. You're crazy, Jacob. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> yeah, RE3 Remake definitely has, like, almost no replay. Oh, my. Do I really want to go there? I don't want to take my chances. Fuck it. We're circling around. 
And then you have Resident Evil 4 Remake, which I think they really nailed the replayability of this game. Maybe they could have a little more unlockables. I was hoping uh, Mercenaries would add something unlockable, like, you know, the PRL, uh, which is uh, missing from the remake. But uh, all they added with Mercenaries is um, an alternative way to unlock the hand cannon. Yeah. <laughs> But seven scattered losing tickets, was it? Which Yakuza game do you think has the best Coliseum? Mm. In terms of variety, probably Kiwami 2. Because... I don't know, it's just so fun there. Um... Yakuza 1 original is pretty fun as well. For some reason. I don't know. I just like it. Um, the other games, for the most part, honestly feel lackluster for some reason. Yeah, Marcelo. They outsourced uh, Resident Evil 3 Remake for some reason. But then for 4 Remake... I remember reading an article where they did acknowledge their mistake. And they announced that... Uh, for 4... They're gonna do it in-house. I have no idea why they do that. Like, not just with 3 Remake, but also the online games that they've been cooking. Like, Reverse, Resistance, Umbrella Core. Why, Capcom? And the problem is with those online games is they always, always, they, do, they don't do well. And they keep making them. Ugh. <sighs> But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, 4 Remake is really fun to replay. I think I told you guys, but... I'm probably past my 10th playthrough at this point. I, I don't know what it is. It's just so fun to replay. Uh, like, a lot of the areas are super well made. Um, a lot of the stuff in the original are present in the remake. Are you excited for Gaiden? I am. Did you play Operation Raccoon City? I did. I bought that game from, I think, my dad's friend. I played it for like 12 hours and then I sold it. It just didn't do it for me. Uh, am I a loser for playing Resident Evil games on easy? No. And don't let anyone tell you that. Because... If you want to enjoy a game and you enjoy it on easy difficulty, just go for it. No one should tell you how you should play a game. Oh, what a fucking noob. Oh, you play on easy? Yeah, fuck you. I'm playing the game, not you. <laughs> like... I don't get the obsession with that. Uh, did you do a professional one? I did, actually. At least two of them. One where I beat the game without using bonus weapons, which I did that on this uh, channel. The second one I did recently, where I um, got S+. If a game is amazing, I get replays, but I can't really understand ten times. I mean, that's, that's just the thing. Resident Evil 4 Remake does an amazing thing, which Yakuza 5 could fucking learn from. <laughs> That is called being able to skip everything, for the most part. Um, you don't have to fucking walk every step of the way to avoid stuff. Because guess what? If you want to avoid stuff, you just blast them with a shotgun on the head and boom, you're done. I, like, I don't know. Even with challenge runs, just running past stuff is possible in that game. But I mean, there are two different genres, so... I'm kidding. Look, if you like Yakuza 5, I'm kidding, okay? I swear. But it had to be said. Um, you're welcome, welcome. Should I play the rest of the Yakuza games? I played Zero Kiwami playing like a Dragon Nation now. Yeah, go for it. I mean, it's up to you. Like, if you want to play them, go for it. 
It's your choice. Tenth playthrough of which remake? Four remake. Resident Evil 4 remake. Dead Island? I heard about it, but I don't know if I'll get it. That's it. <sighs> okay, get scared. That wasn't- wait, that wasn't the leader? I guess not. Or maybe they're just fearless. game broke you more than the others just with the encounters i wish it was just the encounters the pacing of this game is absolute dog poo poo saijima's whole section even if you skip everything it's still so much of a drag i just want to be done with saijima's part man <laughs> and like that soft like we had earlier didn't help either that was so annoying I'm gonna save just in case. Now, uh, what happened? So we got to the part where we had to set up traps for uh, rabbits. And for some reason I had no inputs at all. I had the traps in the inventory, but I just couldn't do anything and I couldn't leave. So I had to load the latest save. Oh, Gotta have the Yume Leon. Chat, what is your Yume? Prepare for the kidnapping. <laughs> uh, take that out of context. Sorry, my buddy, what are you doing? He just got out of prison. And he broke out too, like, it wasn't legit. Thank you, thank you. Cops, better steer clear. Walks past them. Absolute giga chat. <laughs> yeah. People talk about stuff like, I don't know, Mirror Face in 7 or like any other thing when literally. The this man kidnaps another man in front of hundreds of people, and no one sees it, somehow. Oh no. I think there is a way to avoid this, if I remember right. Power Rangers. Oi, oi. I wonder if they wanted to kill Majima, but they just bailed on it at the end. It's possible. Like when you when you think about it that way, it does feel like a cheap reason to bring back Saijima. Hi. I think we have to play this, right? Oh. No, we don't. Okay. Uh-oh. Can we even avoid this guy? Like, there is very little space. Okay, listen. Listen, buddy. I just want to walk past, okay? Thank you. They would get actual death threats if they killed Majima. That is... 
sadly true. I mean, technically, they already did with Kiryu, just to let you guys know. And that wasn't with his death either. That was with um, just the Yakuza 7 existing at first. And it wasn't just to RG RGG Studio. It was to people who were remotely interested in uh, Yakuza 7. Uh, Yakuza fans can be a special breed sometimes. You know, Resident Evil had this phase as a community where the cool thing to do was to just praise the older games and then shit on Resident Evil 4, 5, 6. And I feel like they have long since moved on from that. Yakuza, I think they are doing... Like, there is an improvement, but... Uh, there's still some work to be done. People roast RE6 still. True. But at the same time, now more than ever, you get people who say, oh man, Resident Evil 6 wasn't that bad. That's always the thing with games, right? Happened with stuff like original Yakuza 1. I've seen it happen. Oh man, this dub is actual dog shit. How could Sega do this? Years later? Yo, this dub is actually pretty fucking hilarious. I like this game. Trust me, like, it's just... Give it some time and people will fucking... They will look back on a game they hated like, like it's a fond memory. <laughs> yeah, true, Yagato. Okay, here we go, here we go, long battle, long battle! This is also the part, um, in one of the Yakuza compilations that I made, a bicycle just flew into the air and didn't come back. I don't know, like, personally, I thought Resident Evil 5 was an amazing game. I have so many memories with that game, the replayability was there. And especially, something about Resident Evil 5 at the time. Online play was still relatively new to me. Um, you know, coming off of the PS2, the PS3 was one hell of an upgrade. Being able to play with people online was insane to me, especially playing a game like Resident Evil 5. At the time, I was used to playing stuff like, I don't know, RuneScape with people. So, a jump from something like RuneScape to Resident Evil 5 is huge. And not only that, being able to voice chat with people... That... That was insane. Um, Mercenaries on RU5 was so good. Um, and, th and then the added DLC later versus uh, Lost in Nightmares, Desperate Escape. Five had a lot to love, in my opinion. But then you have six, which, you know, it it's easy to poke fun at six and go, haha, like explosions, boom, like Michael Bay movie. But I, I, I will tell you legit criticisms about the game. One, no alternate costumes. You only can use them in mercenaries for some reason. You know what make. You know what makes that worse? The Switch release of Resident Evil 6, the Switch release of all releases, that added, like, costumes to the main story, and then they didn't bother adding those to, like, the Steam version or, like, any other version. That's one. Two, replay replayability is not there. The only replayability you can do is for, like, the skill points and the skills you can get, which, meh. Um... You don't have this storage system that Resident Evil 5 had, which in my opinion added a lot of replay replayability. Because, I don't know, I'm the kind of person who, when I collect stuff in games, I don't know, it makes me happy. I just get that dopamine hit, like, oh, look, I have, like, this much money, I have, like, all these guns, and I have all this ammo. Um, and being able to share it with other people as well. Like, you had stuff like the Rotten Egg glitch. 
um, in Five where you can duplicate them. And like, I don't know, just the weapon of variety in Resident Evil 6 was not there. Um, the story, I mean, <laughs> it really tried to be the biggest game in Resident Evil, but something about the graphics for Resident Evil 6 as well, which, you know, graphics is not a big deal to me, but man, you can tell the graphics work was cheap in that game. The backgrounds looked so disgusting that I don't know why. The textures or the cult, like, I don't know. Man. Um. Uh. Yeah, Marcus. It took them a while to update Resident Evil 5 on PC to actually give us the Golden Edition, but they did it at least. And now it's twice as fun on PC. Uh, but yeah, 6 has a lot of issues that, you know, aren't just, oh, <laughs> Michael Bay explosion movie. <clears throat> the gameplay is really fun in 6, and I think it peaks in Mercenaries. But the main story has a lot of these segments where it's like, oh, walking simulator, listen to this conversation while you walk. Um, look at this forest camera angle. Oh, quick time events here and there. Like, it just overdid it a lot. And a lot of the moments as well. You basically replay as someone else, or you see as someone else when you play someone else's campaign. A, this campaign is fucking horrendous. It's not fun at all. Um, and that's made even funnier by the fact that Ada is supposed to be solo. But they added a literal throwaway character as a co-op partner if you want to play co-op for Ada. Um, who, by the way, that character can't open doors. And he can't interact with key objects. So you literally, like... You, you just exist to follow Ada. <laughs> she has to open the doors, she has to do the puzzles. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy shit! What are you doing? <laughs> Look at it! Uh, like, they were so lazy with Ada in 6. When Ada has to use the hookshot, he... Like... Lashes onto her back, and she does it, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I think Resident Evil 6, in a way, is the Yakuza 5 of Resident Evil. You know, I, I joke about him latching onto her back, but I saw a cute fan art about that. Um, what else do we have? Oh, yeah! I'm pretty sure Resident Evil 6 had some... Dude, can you, like, die? <laughs> oh, my God. One hit! One pixel! Die! So, Resident Evil 6 had segments where you um, have to run away from something, right? And I think there's at least one segment where you run away where it's bullshit. You keep dying if you don't have, like, almost perfect timing. One segment comes to mind, which is the, uh... The Chris and Pierce segment at the very end, when you run away from, you know, that huge-ass monster. On the platforms. <laughs> That's not fun. Like, there's just so many unfun moments in the story of Resident Evil 6. Um... The soundtrack is forgettable. Um... I don't know, man. How long did I talk about Resident Evil 6 and why I think it's not a good game? Yeah, well, I, I think I said enough. Five in comparison, like, there's memorable soundtrack in my opinion, at least a few of them. Wesker's soundtrack is amazing. Um, there's just, like, at least several good tracks in uh, Five. But I guess, you know, like, soundtracks is subjective. Um, you know what's sad and funny at the same time about Resident Evil 6? They added a lot of interesting modes. Uh, what were they called? Onslaught? Um, uh, there was a bunch of other Siege, I think, something like that. They added a bunch of, like, online modes. And I don't know how popular they were, but every time I wanted to play them back in the day, there was no one playing. Which is sad. Uh, nice. 
Um, and that's not, like, the game's fault. It's just, I don't know. A lot of those modes felt like they could be fun if you play them with friends. Which, uh... I didn't have, like, five friends that I could play with at the same time. That, like, that's the problem. I think those modes they added, they relied on... Multi like, at least five people. Yeah, what was Wesker's track called? Wind of Madness? Love it. Yeah, Persona. What are you doing there? Sakamoto Ryoma? Oh yeah, the mercenaries track from 6 is really good, I like it. All these flying bikes, dude. <laughs> playing Saijin without the mid air grab, yeah, like it's. Surprisingly, the toughest part so far wasn't any of the combat, it was just trying to get through the slog that is um, the story uh, segments of Saijima. Stream end with Saijima's part. A very good question, actually. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do like Haruka's part, and we when we start Akiyama, we'll save that for next stream. We'll see. I think I'll continue. So, do, 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 do. Yo, Velvet, how are you doing? Uh, we're almost done with Saijima. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, and for those who didn't hear me in the back, thank God. Yeah, Marcelo. <laughs> Maybe we should. Okay, yeah, I'll take a break while you guys watch this amazing scene. この月見の雪祭りも今年で56回目を迎えることとなりました。ご承知の通り、北海道の冬というのはですね、とにかく雪が多く、切っても切れない関係にあります。その雪に親しみ、こうして毎年楽しいお祭りが開けるということは、我々
だがこの状況どうやって突破する気だ、うん、もういいんだいいんだ気にしないでくれさあオープニングの航空ショーが始まりますよ。見事なもんでしょう今年は結構金を使ったんですよ。あれ道をに間違いないなあ,あそうだ梅さんは西島大河だなそうやこうして会えて嬉しいぜずっとあんたのことを待ってたんだ待っとったやとどういうことや梅さんあの真島が死んだっつう話を聞いてはるばる網走からやってきたんだろう真島を殺した犯人である俺に会うためにそうだろう実はそのことなんだが俺もおめえに伝えなきゃならねえことがあるんだよ一体何やおあの真島五郎が最後に言い残したことは気にならねえか Just wanted to make sure that We want you awake for the finale of the best part of the game. Alright? <sighs> How was that chat? Enjoyed the show? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Baba Chan is gone. Never forget, Ryuji met Kobuta in RGG Online. Wait, Kobuta, you mean this guy? Kitakaza? Oh. <clears throat> Same endless. Oh man, we. we I went through、uh, trauma replaying this part in the stream. Thinking about it, one of my favorite things about this game is.、Um, I forget who or where it happens, but. Oh, yeah, I, I think it's here actually.、Um, Kitakata tells Saijima that they killed Majima or something. And Saijima's like, yeah, it's his fault for being too weak. <laughs>、uh, never change, Saijima, never change. It's funnier because when he sees the news at first, he's like,、oh, he, he almost cries.
Say it with him. Say it. Oh, he's running faster now, I think. Over here. Yo, what, what if... What if they had this feature where if you miss and you hit the pedestrian, they get hit in the face and they fall down and they're like, What the fuck, man? <laughs> Okay, I think this is it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, all right, we're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. Say it, you must say it. Thank you, thank you, chat. Baba! 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 Why would you do this, Baba? Baba chan! Baba chan! <laughs> there we go. Now we're ready to fight. Holy shit, how many cutscenes are here? Baba chan! There we go, I believe in you, baby! Yeah. He pogged! Alright, Baba. I'm about to show you how realistic Yakuza is right here. I've seen people using the argument of like, oh yeah, they're not realistic. The older Yakuza games, but they're still grounded. Yeah, grounded. See what they what I did there? <laughs> Look at all that groundedness. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Heat mode. Right. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh! Look at him! Baba. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Eat weakened. Uh-oh. Throw! Oh man. We're out of throws. Please, please, please. Oh, oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Bike. Bike. <laughs> Sajima-san, what are you doing? You know, biking. Holy shit, the damage. Almost. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. There we go. Choke. So, no heals, I guess. That's cool. Cool. Fellas, <laughs> we did it. We did it. We... Saijima's no more. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna skip this before chat fights each other. Haruka Sawamura. There we go. Backstage dreams. <laughs> Damn.
We're back in Sotembori, baby. Let's do this. Hold on. Do, do, do. Yeah. Cat jam incoming, hell yeah. with Haruka's part, we get to listen to some amazing music. <laughs> and there's no random encounters. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Ogita is in Yakuza 0. Oh wait, did I? Oh. jamming to this right now. Stop. 
Who do you think is the easiest and hardest ammo to do with the least upgrades? Least upgrades? Definitely Yakuza 1 original ammo. Uh, least, I mean hardest with least upgrades. Yakuza 1 ammo, even if you have max upgrades without using weapons, is still the hardest out of all of them. Um, easiest? Maybe one of the Yakuza 4 ammo. Probably Kazuya Amon in uh, 4. Six Amon, he can spam dropkick till he pulls the drones. Oh, yeah. Elaborate, please. Never played the original one. I'll tell you. I think you probably have a general idea of how janky original one is, probably, if you saw some gameplay. Uh, movement is a bit rough around the edges. Like, for the most part, it's not a huge problem, to me at least. But when you're thrown against an opponent that is that moves as fast as Amon does in Yakuza 1, and does as much as he does in 1 as well, you get a nasty, nasty, nasty combo. Um, it's very, very difficult. He has multiple movesets. Um, generic ones, boss ones, grenades, guns. Like, it it's super, super, super difficult. Um, he revives once as well. Uh, he He's able to stun you uh, with uh, grenades, and I don't know if there's other ways... He has the Kamaki moves, obviously. Um, oh yeah, he can use the tiger stuff like the tiger drop at will. It doesn't have to be like a counter. Like if he feels like it, he'll just tiger drop you. Kiryu could learn from that. <laughs> Imagine if he could pull off the tiger drop at will. Uh... Yes. Yeah, again, the fact that you're very slow in Yakuza 1 as well, and like, changing directions of your attacks is a pain compared to other games. It's, it's, it's really rough. Like, there are people that did it, but the people that did do it... Like, I don't know where to start. Um, Let's just say, even the most avid no-damagers no, uh, no on YouTube struggle with that. I always mention him, but uh, Jimmy Q. Balls um, struggled so much. And then when he uploaded the video, he just said, this f fuck this fight or something like that. I, I'm, I decided to use, like, the... Uh, there's a specific sword that always uh, stuns Amon. So he just gave up and uh, used those. Right. Yeah, um... Like, it probably is possible to beat him, you know, with using heals unarmed, but unarmed, no damage? On that Amon? <laughs> Good luck. Are you going to say no for the Princess League final? Can you say no to it? I think you have to go. Yeah, like, you can lose it, but... Um... I just realized forced dialogue. We love it. We love it. Uh, I feel like...僕らの仕事はお客さんに夢を与えられると思うんや。一アイドル好きとしてさ、遥ちゃんのステージ、ほんまに魅力的やと思う。せやからっていうのも変やけど、もっと自分に自信持ってええんちゃうかな。私はア
頼りないかもやけど、oh, you may mention. なんでも言うてな。はい。よろしくお願いします。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。こちらこそ。Okay, now I had this candy just sitting here. It's the lemon candy. There's yellow, green, and red. Unfortunately, most of the remaining ones are red now. And if you rem remember from last time, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? <laughs> Hello? If you remember from last time, the red ones tasted like armpits, and I hated them. But someone has to finish these, so. <laughs> Oh my god, maybe it was a mistake to eat them. <sighs> oh god, kill the enemy. Help. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hey, listen, listen. Before you all hit me with the how do you know how armpits taste like, huh? Listen. All it takes is a bad day for you. Or, well, not a bad day, but like... When you go to like, school, work, university, anything... And then you come back home, and then you catch that one smell... That smell is what this candy tastes like right now. <laughs> First time catching your stream live. Been having a blast. Thank you, thank you, Sad. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, I think I've seen you around, I think, in a comment or something. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. <sighs> I wish it was the mystery jelly bean challenge. It's just a candy. It tastes that way. Yeah, here's another banger. <laughs> Yo, thank you, thank you, uh, as I go. Really appreciate it. Called a good question. I don't know. Anyone knows? Girl. Thank you, thank you. No. Imagine, oh god, imagine if you finished Saijima's hunting tutorial, like all of it. Like the bit where you go 
and just try to find the, the hunter. And then the part where you have to run around, learn the controls with the shooting, with the crouching. And then the part where you have to set down the traps for the rabbits and then shoot the deer. What if after you finish all of that, it says you want to replay the tutorial. And by mistake, say for example, you weren't um, looking and you were just like pressing X to skip. You <laughs> you press that button and then <laughs> you do all that again. <laughs> Oh, I would fucking cry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, the only thing that's automatic is the health bar. That's for every character. Man, if I could, like, I wish I could share this with you guys so you can see how it tastes for yourself. It's, uh, it's funky. What? What? Psycho training? Hell no. <laughs> no. No training at all. Oh, the handshake event? <laughs> What flavor is it again? It's supposed to be... Grapefruit, I guess? That red one. <laughs> Look at this guy. The remover. Oh, wait. <sighs> Here we go. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I think you can literally hug one fan, and if you get the satisfaction to max, you're good to go. We will actually do that now. When is the Devil Leon? Oh shit, I missed the prompt. When is the Devil Leon handshake event? Would you guys come to that? <laughs> Shake these Yakuza 5 damaged hands. You feel all the trauma. Oh, the heat of Bahrain is not so bad. Just stay home. Yoko! I love how behind Yoko there's a sign that says jail. I can't see it anymore because the angle is gone. If you don't believe me, rewind. Well, you have the rem remover as well. Oh, no, no. Who needs a remover? <clears throat> I like to see the tree of life in Bahrain. You know, 
Oh. I think I didn't see it, and I live here. You? But yeah, that is like one of the attractions here. I'm gonna tell you an interesting story, but don't be spooked, okay? Now, generally speaking, Bahrain is a very safe place to be in. But there was an incident that happened years ago at this point, I think. Um, they dug up a body around the Tree of Life, if I remember right. Uh, that was uh, pretty uh, spooky to think about. Uh, by the way, do we have anyone in the chat from the U.S.? Because when it comes to living in the U.S., I heard some scary stuff. Like, people make fun of the shootings and all that, but according to a friend of mine who lives there, like, hardly a week goes by and you don't hear gunshots. Like, you, you have to hear gunshots. Like, that that is scary to me. Depends on where you live, I see. Florida man. <laughs> I heard gunshots today. Where from the US are you? God damn. I'm European, what's a gun? <laughs> Save. Well, not the European, but what's what? What's a gun? Oh damn, that sucks, Isaac. Right. Another friend of mine who goes to the U.S. from time to time uh, told me about a story he experienced, where I think he was going through a McDonald's driveway with his family, and they they saw a shooting, like. Um, they saw it go down, and I think it was near the McDonald's. When they took their order, they, f they realized that they forgot something, or like the order was messed up. So I think my friend's brother decided to go back, because he's just that curious. He, he wanted uh, an excuse to go check on the scene, I guess. And I think when they got back, there was a police officer already. And... Uh, I don't remember the rest of the story, but I think they got their stuff back. So that's good. I was on a friend's farm last night and heard some gunshots. Oh man. Maybe it's just that I come from a very different place, but I don't know if I can sleep at night, <laughs> like if I went through that. Especially since recently I've been like binging a lot of like spooky stories. And you know, some of that, some of that stuff is very like real. And, um, like generally speaking, you should always take what you hear on the internet for, like, with a salt. But when people share stories, long ones, um, you could say, yeah, they're lying, or like, yeah, they're exaggerating, but at the same time, they don't really have much reason to do that. Especially if they're just people on the internet. No one's special. That that sounds rude, but... I mean, like, they're not, like, someone trying to get, to get attention or anything like that. Which, uh, you find a lot of that on Reddit, I think. There's, uh, boards for that kind of stuff. Uh, sorry to take this into a dark turn, by the way, but... I've just been very invested into that kind of stuff lately. Let's cat jam, shall we? Cat jams in the chat? Where are you at?
Oh, I got a bed. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Chat? You distracted me. Chat. How are you going to make up for this? <laughs> Chat? Don't distract me. Chat. <laughs> here we go, here we go. <laughs> Let's do it. No, 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 no. So, is Haruka wearing this outfit from the get-go? Or is it her imagination? Or... I don't need to use it. I was gonna talk about the idle heats or heart or whatever. Haruka, Sawamura. The first winner is. Sorry, just going back to read the messages because it's a topic that really does interest me. Ricardo says, I live in Michigan and sometimes in the late hours of the night I hear gunshots from everywhere. Oh my God. I live in the countryside, so I don't know what that's like. I see. Closest thing to gunshots around here in Europe is my hay fever sneeze. <laughs> Relatable and understandable. Okay, so we did it. We did it. We did it. A word from our winners. What would you like to say, chat? Oh, sorry. Wait. What would you like to say? Lmo, easy, get wrecked, noobs. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Glad to help, uh, Lago. Is it Lago or Lego? I will thank Babach. <laughs> oh, Babacha. Don't know. Logo, okay. Guys, I'm scared of the next part, the Shinara part. I'm so scared. Okay, here's a question. 
If we get Shinada's infinite pipe, should I or should I not use that? That's what I'm thinking about. Maybe if I if things get really difficult. Oh. Park. What was that for? Rude. Okay, chat. Is that workplace abuse? Yes or no? I actually forgot that happens. God damn, Park. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Did, uh... Uh -oh. I remember cheesing Shinada's ammo on with the knife. Nice. Two, two, two. Oh. Yeah. Fellas, who's a better CEO? Curious boss? I forgot his name. Or Park. Of course. Do 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 do. Get you a boss like Nakajima. Takes you out for dinner. Treats you to different spots of the town. Appreciates you. Thanks you for your hard work. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yo, James, welcome, yeah. Side gym is part, took a while. Do, do, do. Uh, this is chapter one of Argus, though. Look at how beautiful this is. No random encounters every two steps of the way. Can he try to do a speedrun of Yakuza? This is a speedrun of Yakuza. Watch. Yeah, I'm going to get the speed run of Yakuza. This is a speedrun of Yakuza. I don't know what to say. Flashy tanned man. Okay, chat. Are you memeing about Baba or do you really love Baba? We gotta know. We have to know. Do do ro. No cap. I like Baba. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm on a list somewhere. Why would you be? <laughs> a lot of people love Baba. It surprised me, honestly. That showed a lot when um, the castings for Ishin were revealed as well. Uh, maybe James, if we use weapons, maybe. I don't think we can benefit from the heat actions right now because we just have a heal.
Uh oh, she has his beat. Come on. I wonder if losing is optional, or like win winning is optional here. I hope it is. This is gonna be a close one. Heal is fine, but I just need to make sure that I get the most points. Okay, we did it. Yeah, the dance battle songs are awesome. Baba haters are average Jingu enjoyers. Dude, have you listened? How can you not like this? Dude has the most comical laugh in all of the franchise. <laughs> it's hard to hate that laugh. Ho 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 ho. Man, I, I still need to add more laughs, like Mine's, um, Munakata as well. <laughs> Yonashiro, oh, you know, oh, dude, I need to add his sounds as well. I bet you can hear it now in your head as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know Shiro uncapped, yeah. Literally. Alrighty, Velva, take it easy. Thank you, thank you for dropping by. Yeah, that was a lot of sounds I could add. Didn't like Jujimin at first, so it took me, uh... Took me... Took it and lost judgment two months. Wait. Each game, all 7 and 0, took me two months to complete all. Oh, I see. Um... So how do you feel about judgment now? Yeah, usually with judgment, the tailing is like one of the main criticisms. Yo, no, no, Mase, no, Mace, the, the no mess. We were suffering from the same thing. We had a soft luck inside Jim's part. We had to, to redo like at least 10 to 20 minutes of progress. Nice, Ricardo. New viewer. Welcome, Bro Gaming 26. Welcome. How are you doing, buddy? I think YouTube has been doing something lately. I, I don't know. I, like, I have a big or heavy or strong feeling. Like, between YouTube trying to show, um, like, very small channels uh, on my recommendations, not just my recommendations, I think it's been happening to a lot of people. Between that, and between, like, a lot of people lately showing up and saying, like, I'm a new viewer. I think YouTube is actually doing something. I don't know. Just a guess. But, uh, hey, good step, YouTube. Keep it up. <laughs> well, hey, if it was quality to someone, I'm glad. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, here we go. Game show. I don't need to. Okay, can we get it perfectly or no? Hi. Uh. Been getting recommended smaller channels channels recently. Yeah, same, same. I've been getting recommended streams as well. That never happened before. Streams were a very, 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 like, deeply buried thing on YouTube. But now I see a lot of streams popping up. Uh, false. Okay, okay! No parks on September. Uh, false. Alright. Dino... Dino chair. It's with an A. Okay. Aizawa wanted to be Ryuji, but he couldn't even be Kiro. <laughs> Fourth floor. I think so. Nice. No game arcades? False. There is a game arcade. Tisa, yeah. Okay. There isn't a single karaoke joint. False. Are Haruka's mini games mandatory? Uh, these, you mean? Yeah, th this is. I think you have to do this. If I remember right. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, Uni... Kani. Kani, yes, Kani. Oh! Alright. Iwao. Oh! Perfect score, let's go. Finish. Nice, James. The life of an idol is tiring as fuck. You know, being a streamer, at least, you know, when you have at least like 100k subs and onwards, probably, it's not that different from being a, you know, being an idol is very similar to being a streamer. Especially if you sign up for an agency, which a lot of streamers do, or content creators. I think streamers more so. I, 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 don't, I don't know if I've seen like. Well, I mean, I guess YouTubers can, like, join these affiliate groups. Um, but yeah, you get managed by someone. If you don't have anyone, you manage yourself. And... Uh, you appear in the spotlight, if you will, a lot. And you have to entertain people. And you may or may not have a schedule. A lot of similarities. Uh, there is an Ammon for Haruka, yeah. Let's use this taxi. <laughs> True king. Do karaoke? We are doing karaoke as part of the story. <sighs> Uncomfortable, man. None of my business. Yo, thank you for the reminder, sick. Thank you. Yeah, I need to order something. I just don't know what to get. What would you guys eat? Let's assume it's dinner time. What will you eat? Go to bed. I think... Is this the end of chapter one? It is. I'm actually thinking of ending it here. I know it's not like the end of Haruka's uh, segment, but... I do need to eat. 
And this is going to be a long game anyway, so I think stopping here is going to even stuff out. Uh, I go heavy on my sahur. Nice. Um, that was a good sleep. That's going to be me when I wake up. Um, have you 100%ed any Yakuza game? Only Yakuza 0, but that's it. I'm in the Philippines, so it's morning. I see. It's 2 a.m. here right now. The meal that coach wanted to eat and left for that too. Cheeseburgers. Alright, I guess we're going to stop here for the day, fellas. Uh, this is a long game, so there's no way I'm going to finish it in this stream. Unless I, like... I don't know, if I want to really exhaust myself. And... Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that because... Like I told you at the beginning of the stream, you might have noticed from my voice... I might get sick. It might get worse as well. I don't know. So that's why I wanted to stream today, so that if I do get worse, at least I've done a stream today. KFC, hey, you beat her. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. Today has been a lot of fun. Streams with you all are always so much fun. Just hanging out, chatting. Um, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I have lovely people in the chat. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Alright. Uh, till next time, you guys take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I will see you next time, whenever that is going to be. If I don't get worse, we might continue after tomorrow. So on the... It's the 11th here, so maybe on the 13th. But yeah. Bye-bye, you guys. Bye-bye. So yeah.